I'm ready, Perfect. I'm ready, I'm ready. You just threw in bro's tagline for that? Or did he make it? Whose? But that tagline, isn't that from like, it's a rapper, it's like perfect or whatever? Uh, I've been using that for like five, six years, I have no idea. Is it Rob, bro? <laughs> My homie, ma- this guy I know made it. Maybe he's the producer. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's been, I just know that's from Street Fighter. I'm like, yeah, that's perfect. Is it? Thank you. That's where it's from. That's Street Fighter. Yeah, yeah. I'm it's Street Fighter. Yeah, it's when you get the, it's when you mess, when you like ruin somebody with a whole round and they don't, they don't touch you. Like, but isn't that somebody's like tagline? In a, for like audio, like a DJ probably, audio. yeah, like yeah, what? Like I swear, like I've heard like a Drake song or something. Probably, start with that, probably, nah, a bunch of them. Like an like a audio in like a like an ad. Probably, I thought, I thought it was mm. the same exact thing. No, it is. It's, it's, it's like Ryu, isn't it? Mm, yeah, Street Fighter, same show. Yo, <laughs> I like this episode. We both went off track immediately. <laughs> My bad. Yo, it's Dope as Usual know. Podcast. Uh, thank you guys for being here. I'm with Marty O'Neill right here. What's up, What's up guys? Let's hop right into it. You yes, guys have been sir. asking nonstop. This is the Phase Rain episode. Thank you very much for being here. Of course, thank, thank you, you for having showing me, up. Appreciate you. Before we keep going, real quick, let's just talk about this because it's in my hand. Crushed grab a leaf. Yeah, man. And it smells. It smells like my fifth grade camping trip to the forest or my school. It's a campfire, bro. It's a campfire. It just, it just hits so differently. You don't smoke nicotine on like a regular, right? At all. So that's going to send you. I don't feel it no more. That's what I'm trying to feel what you feel like when smoking it, but I just never get there again. Do you dab? Sometimes. That's really why. rarely though. Yeah. Dab some hash rods and then you text me tomorrow and be like, are you right? No, no, I mean with the nicotine specifically. But even with weed, oh. yes. Yeah, so you, so right, you mix it sure. in with the weed. Yeah. Absolutely. So like percentage So twice. it's a blunt. We, I'm trying to cut down now because now it's just getting aggressive. I feel like it's even making me more sick to keep adding as much as I do. <laughs> but I don't know, like not that much. You'd be surprised. It's literally just a little sprinkle, but it just packs a punch. You know what I mean? Because I, like I said, I have homies that own, I won't t- say who it is, but he owns a very big dispensary here and he makes all his employees smoke backwards. You're going to smoke, smoke a backwood. Save wow. me the end and he'll unroll it, all the weed that's oh, yeah, soaked in that tobacco that. and he'll just bong rip it. I think that's what the insane. Fuck? He has a fucking bag of roaches from his especially, employees. Bro. Especially collecting everyone else's roaches Collects is crazy. all of it. And he's only smoking free. <laughs> you save me your fucking roach. That's what he, he like, that's the rule of the shop. You Damn. save me your fucking roach. That's interesting. He don't even pop up a weed. He don't roll blunts. He don't roll joint. He just smokes that all day. Is he okay? That's what I would like, like to know. I don't know. <laughs> Get at home. He, is he good at home? Yeah. He's he's uh he's living the life. And it's like you like this. Yeah, it's all right, you like it. All right. Because that's disgusting. There's no way in the world that I've never heard of that shit in my life. When I saw it, I was just, just disgusting. Maybe your own roaches. That would make more sense to me. Like you I gotta smoke enough weed right, to get the roach. Start smoking weed to get he don't like backwards. That- so like you, you don't only make sense. like the roaches. You just like the nicotine punch because he used to smoke bunts nonstop for the nicotine. He's like I had to get off it, but you're not. Well, Adam Ill just dabs roaches. Or this one I know will roll a backwood, press it like rosin, squeeze it, and then dab that. You're lying. No, he's <laughs> like if you like. Can bump, you do that? Yeah, he's like if you like blunts, oh, yeah. it's a little bit of extracted tobacco oil in your dab. He goes, some people probably like the fuck out of that. You probably like the shit that's out That's what of I'm that. trying to think. Yeah. What I like that. I don't know. That's pretty you, crackhead, You dude. might. <laughs> crackhead. I don't yeah. know. It is, it is it's crackhead shit, but that's what we said about dabbing. And I'm like crackhead almost there. Creative. You know what I mean? When it comes to nicotine, I'm like, I'm yeah. almost I'm full crackhead. I'm almost to try that shit. Did but you ever no, chew the dip? Would. No, that's disgusting. I used to I do that in like 17 when it came out because I was like, yo, I don't have, give me anything. I'm bored of school. Yeah. Just fucking watched it one day. You know what snooze is? I've tried that. That's one. what it's it a was. A couple of Norwegian the dudes put me on that. Right? Not put me on. I've just tried it. So I'm not making like That's it comes in the little pack though. Yeah, I tried so those like, too. Because the thing that like turned me off about like dip was like the spitting. It's yeah, it's like motherfuckers carry a water bottle, a dirty. Just, that's just imagine. Spit. Then you forget and drink out of it. <gasps> Actually, one of my homies' homies <laughs> did that. Because <laughs> oh. I was like the first person I saw in person like holding a water bottle, just dipping all day, I and did he did drink and he was puking everywhere. There's no coming back from that. Yeah, it hit my lip once. You drank somebody else's dip. My uncle George Coca Cola bottle. It touched my lip where I would have touched it. <laughs> threw up. Sorry, guys. Let's change the subject. All right, hold on. Where are you from? Toronto, Canada. Well, Mississauga. If you know the area that I'm from, Mississauga. Mississauga. I thought you were yeah, about to say, say or Mississippi. No, I thought you were about to go no. way. How do you think you spell Missis- Mississauga? Oh, I give up. I give up. M I S S I S S A U G A. Let's go. Hey, all right. It's pretty similar. Yeah, it's yeah. I just know the song of my Canada. mom showed me. Yeah, it's the Mississippi of Canada. Yeah. What'd you do growing up, man? Um. Shit, whatever any kid did, you know what I mean? Just, you know, fucked around a lot. Then I ended up playing a lot of video games. That actually just changed my life because I didn't really get into video. Like, I played video games my whole life, but I got into it, into it at like 
12, 13, 14. Before that, I'd just always just be outside, just fucking shit up. Like, I really mean that as, like, vandalizing and shit. I was like, oh, oh no. Yeah, me and my friends were, like, bad kids. We even one, Something I did when I was a kid that I don't think I ever even talked about, but it's so, it's so evil. Like, when I think about it now, because I'm, like, the biggest softie for animals, like, like, I don't know what it is. I'm just, like, obsessed with animals, and I feel bad for them all the time. It's like, they're innocent. They don't know what's going on. Yeah. When I was a kid, dude, me and my friends, one of my homies used to have, like, hella, like, explosives for whatever in his house. He was just, I don't know, dude. He just, like, not, like, stuff like that, but it's, like, firecracker shit, like, the shit to blow up. He just loved blowing shit up for whatever reason. White kid. Of course. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Marty. Sorry, Marty. I'm fucking sure. Yeah. You, you, like, my bomb sound effect well, right you do have a bomb <laughs> sound effect, too. <laughs> and, um, bro, I remember we tried making lobsters once, and it didn't work. Crowd ad blew him up. It blew him up. My homie up. did that in front of me. Once. I can't believe I did that shit. But that's you know shit. What do you like mean? That. It exploded like in the pan? No, 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 no. no, no, no. It M80 wasn't working, it. so we cut bro open. Oh, sh- oh, he was dead already. Ish. Oh, yeah. I don't think he was. My homie used to do crowd ads, and I used to catch him so with them. Mean. And I remember he had his bike on the seat and the handlebars. And he spun the back tire and threw one through it. So, mean. and I just remember watching like, <laughs> I can't be here. Can't do this. Now, even in general, the way they make lobster is not chill. It's horrible. Bro. I know. Make, I, I don't. I don't have any lobster. I can't watch any. I'm that. like a borderline vegan, bro. If I look yeah. too deep into it, I'm vegan because yeah. I can't. I'm I haven't eaten meat in six years, bro. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're vegan because of that. Vegetarian or vegan? Vegan fully. Damn, bro. Because I was coming off the grapevine, and I remember I was like, I gotta stop eating meat, bro. I love animals. Why do I eat meat? And I was coming off the grapevine, and I, the sun hit the pasture of cows. It looked all heavenly. I'm like, what am I doing <laughs> myself? Why do I do this? And then I, I ate shrimp, beef, chicken, fish, which I don't really normally eat. And I got food poisoning for like a week I never had. Damn. I haven't eaten meat since because I knew like, that's my sign to yeah. stop now. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't know what it is, man. Looking at animal like, I'll eat the shit out of you. I'm like, no, I can't do that. This, yeah. is, this is crazy to me. Yeah. yeah so you're crazy. almost there. I guarantee you next time I see you, you're like, it happened. Oh, yeah. It happened. This yeah. chicken I saw on the road, and it said, "What's up?" And that was it. Yeah. I'm telling you, dude, it's one little thing is going to change it. Yeah. Now, sorry, talking about Toronto. Can we just say I'm from Buffalo, so mm. you know it was cool right to go there. to Toronto. Toronto to me was the cleanest, nicest, freshest, coolest city out ever. Yeah, if you want to smoke I, I that, fuck with Toronto, like oh, but I don't smoke joints. No nicotine fiend. I appreciate you though, my brother. Thank you, sir. Oh, so you really like the nicotine? Yeah, man. I'm gonna have to hit my roach. Maybe one day. <laughs> maybe one day this will be different. He's the second one. Imagine I go vegan right? with eating Third and also one. vegan yeah. with smoking. Yeah, DJ goes like, oh, I don't yeah. smoke joints at all. Like, oh, I, 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 I will, I'll gladly smoke this shit. <laughs> yes. shit. Oh, sorry, can continue. Oh, I can smoke regular blunts, too. When people pass around like blunts that aren't spice, I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's, it's just yeah. in your blood, right? Full blown problem like. right now. Set in your ways. Like. Yeah. yeah. It'll go away. It'll go away. I used, to, not, I used to smoke non stop blunts, too. Yeah. Sorry. Buffalo. Yeah, no, I'm just saying Toronto to me was sick. We went up there. I'm like, is it close? It's like two, Hour. three hours. I mean, uh, I mean, actually, I lied. It's depends like, how yeah. long they stop you at the border and shit. Depends where you live in Buffalo, too. But it's like yeah. Niagara Falls is right there. Then Niagara yeah, exactly. Falls from like Toronto is like an hour, hour, half. Yeah. The latest. Oh, yeah. It was It was just, I had gone to like Manhattan and then I went to Toronto and I'm like, oh my God, this is like a clean Manhattan. So yeah. was it awesome no, going up there? wildly dirty. I hate yeah. going to Manhattan. I was there yesterday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there was trash oh. taller than me, bro. Yeah, taller than my whole. I just body. how tight shit is. You know what I mean? I like it. it looks cool to it's look great, at bro. and visit. Six but people I'm not trying rubbed to my it. shoulder as I walked by. I was like, "Oh shit!" There's too much going too on. Too much going on for me. It's dope. You lived yeah. there for a while. I lived in Long Island for two years, from like 2014 to 16. We lived in Long Island, mm-hmm. being like the phase dudes. Mm-hmm. Oh, so you guys are all from back east? No, we're all from like all over. Like one's from Cali, one two are from Boston, one's from Sweden, one's from. Phoenix, okay. I'm from Mississauga. So we are very ignorant to this world. Okay. You, before we started, yeah. you said, Hex is the one that showed me face. What yeah. is that even? I thought you guys started this as a whole. Well, that's the thing. It was like, it was founded by different people. But at the time, it was like, literally just like a COD. And most of them left before that COD team even became anything. Before, oh. Yeah, so they left super early. You know what I mean? They weren't part of the picture, like super early. And then Tommy, like Temper, he was like the only one that was like a leader position at the time. And then... Me and Apex and Banks, and we all got brought in in the most like pivotal time of phase. But it, back then, it was just like, you know, they just like, it wasn't even phase members filling their videos. Like, even in their original videos, it was like just friends. It was just like they just made a team name and like they'd even put friends clips and shit in their videos. Mm-hmm. So, and Optic was already cracking at that time. Like, was yeah, Optic, Optic was shit? doing their thing for sure. They were like pretty much the only team at the time. And then phase was coming up for like trick shotting and stuff like that. Just like no scopes with snipers and shit like that. And yeah, he explained that to us. It's like you're running, you shoot with a sniper yeah. gun, you have almost no fucking. 
knowledge of where it's gonna land. Yeah, that's trick shot. But eventually, yeah, with the no scope part of it. But then the trick shot itself, like muscle memory, you end up like going for the same shot over and over again. And it's like it's like GTA know. when you fucking shoot pulls out the side. Yeah, with part three. But one of those founders, his name was Phase Resistance. He was like one of the OG three creators, which was Timid House Cat Resistance and Clips. They were like the three guys that like made the name and came up with it. I think Timid was on that made the name. But he left super early. Like we even wanted him a part of Phase again. He just was not interested in this life at all. And that was in like 2012, 13. His dad, though, made videos for like five more years after that, which was fucking hilarious. Shout out to his dad. I love you. That's sick. Um, it's funny as hell. But um, yeah, so Resistance's sister worked at Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper used to sponsor MLG. So she gave him tickets to go to, M I think it was like MLG Dallas. They drive over there. It was a member called Phase Magic and Phase Resistance was the, the leader at the time. They drive over there. They meet Hex. They make a video with Hex. Hex shouts them out. I was, I was like big into watching like Hex and Optic back in the day. And then that's how I found him about FaZe. Went to FaZe. Then I saw Tempers video. Then I started fucking with FaZe. Mm. Yeah, like back then. A little weird. Like early 2011. And you were already good? What do you mean? Like go, at, video games. I mean, yeah, no, I was good. But I was still like a little kid. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was like inspired by all of them. And that's like why I like wanted to. I love that, that though. You never yeah. know who's in your fucking meet and greet line that you're like, we'll be working together in five mm -hmm. years. You never fucking yeah. know. I love Yeah, we did the math on it. You were, what, like 16? When? When you like got with FaZe Clan? Yeah, I was 16. Yeah, so is that when you moved out to New York right away? No, that was when I was 18. That was like two years because when I first joined FaZe, it still wasn't like that. Nobody was really like making money off it yet like that. Like like the best person I heard make money was 2000 a month. And I was off because oh. he had like four videos at Bang and he still only made 2000 So no one was really like making money yeah, like that not yet, to live right? yet. Yeah, not yet. It was So still, what happened? Um, it all started like, because back then the way it would work is like, Imagine going for like a crazy trick shot and like sometimes it doesn't hit. Sometimes it'll go a week, you yeah. don't hit a shot, right? So it's like harder to make Shit. videos. You'll only make a video once a month and it'd be like a two minute montage. So, I mean, back then YouTube was two dollars every thousand views. So that was different. But, um, so you still like, and it still wasn't that good. Now it can go up to like $10 every thousand views. You know what I mean? So it's like even mm -hmm. higher for some people. But, um, what's it called? Wait, what the fuck? When, did it, now? when like, did it change to? Oh, yeah, yeah. Money? When we started yeah. doing like live comps and shit, when we started like actually posting every day, that's like when it changed. You know what I mean? Because like spending a month to make a single video that's short and isn't really making oh, money is like, it's not enough. Yeah. yeah. So it started when we started doing like live comms and shit like that. You know what I mean? And shit that, competitions? No, live, like live comms means like live commentary. Like, so we would like, instead of just showing the clip itself, He's we would, it all, yeah, we have like a face cam and actually start talking to like live narrating the game kind of like while like it's happening. Like the rebirth of reaction videos. Kind of, but like you're playing. So it's live. like, you're not like watching your gameplay. Live you're, you're live. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So it's not, you're not reacting to it after, like during the fact. So, so when you hit it, you'd be going crazy. Talent, I gotta be mm -hmm. honest. Yeah. To be commenting course. on yourself while knowing what the fuck you're about to do. But you're not like narrating. It's not like you're, oh, it's not like you're casting yourself. Okay, like I'm going I over like, here now that I'm pulling over to the right. Like you're not doing none ass. of that, but it's like. That's how I play yeah, myself. You know, it's like, you don't even have to like do whatever. I would just tell stories and different shit <laughs> while I'd be playing, whatever. Shit like that. Basically what YouTubers do now. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, they show gameplay and tell a story. Yeah, exactly. It's a little loophole, but it works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Our most popular guest of all time, Goblin, that's what he does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he just, he's crazy. I remember watching one of his videos like a year ago because I just said like drug tier list. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> so yeah. like, Let me see what he's talking about. From the most wholesome looking American <laughs> kid of all time. I know. I just, I just, I don't know. I guess I was shocked to me that YouTube even like let that video be up. I was like, fuck it, whatever. Yeah. But it's, I mean, it's cool that they don't mm -hmm. be like that harsh because like Instagram be taking down everything. Yeah. yeah. Like, bro, I'll be po sometimes posting a story about recovery. I won't even say anything weird. I'll keep it so vague and they'll take down my story. I'm like, damn, bro. Wow. It's like, I don't know. We even just met. So you don't even know. But I'm on my 27th <laughs> account on Instagram. Yeah. Number twenty seven. I don't even post weed no more. Yeah. I got, last time I got deleted, it said Pepper than my mom. Yeah, deleted. So it's just because you're trying to be positive. I promise. I see the most negative, craziest shit just promoted, and I'm like, yo, we're just talking about like, yo, weed helps me sometimes, and yeah. motherfuckers don't care. Yeah. Instagram is very. Uh, I think it's the last push before like, okay, it's legal. Fuck go. Yeah, yeah, I feel like you another know? year or two. I don't, I don't know. I don't feel like it's going to be like that in another year or two. Hopefully, we'll see. But yeah, and you're just simply showing recovery, and they're deleting it. No, no, I wouldn't even be showing recovery. It'd be oh, like speaking on it, not even speaking on it. It would be like text, and I wouldn't even put anything related to weed. I'd put location oh. that it's available in stores or whatever, and I would just say mm. range runs, and that's it. Yeah, oh, I guess. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh the yeah. weed. Yeah, they don't yeah. give a fuck. You made money on it. Done. That's yeah. how they think. They don't want any way to like. You know, promote selling it, buying it, anything. Mm -hmm. But even though I was like being unbelievably vague with it because I figured, but still, they're like, damn. And they're watching. They're for me. That leads oh, yeah. us to a big topic, though. 
Rains Runs. Yeah, Rains, Rains runs. runs. Yeah, man. In stores. In stores in, actually, I don't even know what case right now, but in West LA, West Hollywood, I want to say Bellflower, San Jose, Pasadena. There, actually, I got them. Yeah. Not, uh, when did it launch? Um, September 17th. We had a pop up in barely at Calma, yeah, West Hollywood, yeah. Oh, Calma. I see that fucking logo and flyer everywhere. I've never been there. Yeah. Nice. No, I used to. It's crazy because I didn't. I never like been to the location before I did the pop up there. But I would see it all the fucking time because it's like that pink building. There's like weed all mm -hmm. over. Like, they have a lot of the recognizable good building. Yeah, yeah, they're good That's at marketing. A cool spot actually, like for a dispo, it's pretty cool. I like it. Nice, dude. So how would you go about that? You just said runs is my shit, or did you? No, we tested. Curating. Yep. No, we tested a lot of strains. Obviously, it's like white label, but we found like a good cultivation that we really like because going the cultivation out with what it took is so much longer and cost a lot more. So it's just like you know, want to oh, yeah. just like dip our feet into the industry, you know, and just try it out but because i've just i've always liked weed and obviously i've always wanted to get in the industry but i didn't know how to then i ended up meeting one of our uh, partners yoni and then he was connected with the tp co and then it's like they were able to give us licenses and get us in nice so like, yeah so is it just so it's just yours or it's like a face no it's it's not a facing no no it's just, it's just me you and yeah. then my partner quinn and yoni yeah and then we also mm -hmm. like have eric Khan now as a po oh he's part of it yeah good nice. shit yeah. nice because he's over there with pine park too yeah he's with pine park and that's so cool he's with hex and me and it's just like and Hex is awesome, too. You know what I mean? Like, he immediately congratulated me, wanted to, like, get together, do something together, work. Like, he's awesome. You know what I mean? He's so, a very nice dude. Yeah, yeah. It's not I'm, not even on no, like, he didn't even try to be, like, fake competitive about it or nothing. He just, like, open arms. He's awesome. Yeah, he's a cool dude. Like, yeah. we, we really knew who he was. Well, Eric, like I said, Eric and Gob, they pay game. Yeah. I'm addicted to fucking video games. If I play, I'm done. I'm not going to do shit else. That's why I stopped. I won't play it anymore three years, four years ago. You you stopped at like cocaine. <laughs> yeah, straight up. I was like, dude, it's, it's like a drug to me. Like, I, I lost again. I'm not going to go to sleep till I win. What the fuck? At four in the morning. What game though? And Madden, GTA. Oh, okay. Just stupid shit. I played online for the first time two years ago. Not for me. I don't like sports games online. I like playing with like people in real life for that. Because there's this is laggy, dude. I just, I just I, every I've never played it and it hasn't been laggy no matter what game. Laggy? Oh, like, like the gameplay. Yeah, it's laggy. It'd just be Is that just a fact? Is that why you don't see I've a lot of it? I've never seen online sports game that hasn't been laggy. It's always like a second off. Like really? even to like I don't know, I haven't tried 2K22, but 2K21 was like that. Like there's just no online that isn't laggy. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but it is. Is is like Call of Duty the main thing that people play? It's like GTA, Call of Duty. Does it extend? No, I mean it depends. Like how, how what you classify as main because like overall, I want to say League of Legends still has like the most players. I want to say I'm not oh, sure. Okay. You know, I don't know Valorant that. is up there. Yeah, I've never played that either. But that's a huge in Asia, right? And then there's tons of other mobile games that probably have fucking freakish amount. Oh like yeah, Clash of Clans users. and all that. Yeah, weird I don't shit. even know. Like I'm sure there's games that have freakish amount of monthly users. And they try to get people to promote that game a lot. Yeah, Clash of Clans. They ask me constantly. You sure you don't want to put it on your show? I'm like what the fuck is it? Yeah, because I'm pretty sure they make a ton of money off like microtransactions. It's like the little in-game things you buy. A skin. Yeah, that's how Fortnite it's, came dude, up. Dude, it, it, it's the meta. You make a free game, you get everyone there, and then you fucking sell them the cool shit. Smart. It's the smartest and thing you can do. It's, yeah, it's the smartest shit you could do. Like Call of Duty's still behind with that. They're still charging for like, and then they don't even like worry. Like, I feel like they don't put enough like money into their like design budget to make cool skins because there's not that many. Like, it doesn't, not one skin has it felt like the Fortnite effect. Like, bro, I bought so many Fortnite skins. I don't even care about Fortnite. Yeah, like he's like, oh, fuck, I'm John Wick. It just looks so much better. It's way cleaner. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's just a cartoony game. It's harder to do with real life, maybe. Or like real life looking. So, I don't know. So, you as a consumer, you could go, hey, Call of Duty, change these six things, Oh, please. they would never listen to me. That's they don't, they don't give ask. a fuck about us. They don't give a fuck what the community says at no. all. No, not really. They do them. They do them. Tomorrow, Call of Duty comes at you to be the project manager of design. You taking that? Um, I think I'd have to do it for the culture. I would yeah. never want to work for anybody, but like, damn, I'd be like, oh, make it better. The community needs it, man. That's cool, man. Yeah. No, for real though. Like they, we need it, dog. Like I gave up so long ago with Call of Duty. This new game though is actually great. It's it came great. out when I was when I was gone, so I just saw the yeah. shit in Times Square of like huge MW two yeah. like face paint <coughs> billboards and shit. Yeah, that's the first game that's dropped in like, dude, for me at least like a decade that I like since 2012. That was the last game I liked that they dropped. What games do you play at home? Just, I still play Warzone, like the game that came out, but I don't like it. Oh, I got you. Like, <laughs> no, it's this fun. Okay. I do like it, but it's just like there's things I don't like about it. It's just, I don't know. It's just a different game. I even consider Call of Duty in a weird way, even though Damn. it is. Damn. Oh, you're different. a gamer, gamer. Yeah, yeah. no, I'd be playing. Yeah, my little brother's so fucking on. He yeah. shows me. He's 18. He does the Valve Index shit and all the 
game Val? crazy he plays Val stuff. Your no, the Val, like the Val oh. thing you put over your head. Oh. He like made his own <laughs> fucking world. He, he's Spider Man stabbing fools. It's the dopest oh, shit. Oh, you playing he'd be on VR and stuff, you're saying? Yeah. Oh. Shit's tight. He said Val, what are you talking about? The Val kind of like the... Index thing it's called? Val. Oh, something? is that what it's called? I don't even really know, like the Oculus Pro, whatever the fuck those are called. Oh, I don't know. It's the one above that. Yeah. He spent all the money on it. I just like, don't feel wires. like the games are cool enough yet. I feel like it's just such an early stage for like mm -hmm. VR that nothing's like as cool, like for the headset. But I don't know. It's like PS1 different. version stuff, stuff right exactly. now. Exactly. Yeah. The PS1 version of like VR. So I'm waiting until at least PS2, PS3. <laughs> yeah, then you I'll like, play PC till then. The one and then thing, when it gets crazy, I'm in. Yes or no? You tell me if you agree. I feel like one day when they put GTA in this VR, <sighs> we're going to get someone that kills somebody and go, I swear to God, I thought I was playing the game. <laughs> and use that shit in court. Because there'll be sometimes... If I play Grand Theft Auto for hours, I'll go outside and go driving like, yo, you can't hit motherfuckers in this life, dude. Dude, like, actually, if you did it like with your bare hands to kill someone, I'd say no because there's the a car. clear different. The car thing I could see, though. That's I, crazy. I play POV. Like, if you in, really in feel like you're in real life and you just run over motherfuckers all day, like, and you really do it for 10 hours, you can go out. You got, I don't know. I could just see that happening. Like, right? accidental muscles. That one's true. Because it's different when you're, like, holding a controller and doing it, right? Or even playing like a racing game where you can just see the outside world. But if you feel like you're in, you're in and the graphics are so real at that point to where it, they are real. Brains I, be complex, dude. Yeah, it's, it's, I it's could true. see that. One. I could, I'm not I saying could, it would be a direct cause. but I, I wouldn't be like, that. you're free. But I'd be like, I understand you. <laughs> if I was on that jury a little like, let's go back and deliberate, motherfuckers. Because yeah. I feel him. Yeah. No, dude, it's, it's real shit. I think about that. But then I think of kids that have been playing games their whole life. Yeah. Like you said, I used to be outside fucking shit up. You weren't in, you, you haven't been the gamer kid your whole life. I know a lot of kids that have not yeah. left the fucking room. Yeah. No, I mean, I still played a lot, like, but just not as aggressively till I got into like Call of Duty. Actually, Halo. Halo. And then that's like when I became I a nerd. Suck at Halo, the show. Bro. Like, I broke up with my girlfriend when I was a kid for the summer. I was like, yeah, I don't got time for you. Stop. I swear to God. I got back with her when school started again. And she said, yeah. Duh. Duh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm the number one good gamer at school. No, it's not the dude. Actually, it's crazy. This is I used to hide that shit like crazy. Even like when I was making a lot of money, I still hid that shit. Stop it. Yeah, like I would not tell people that because I was like, this is embarrassing, dude. I'm like YouTube cod shit. But then now, fast forward, You're like the whatever, man. I know, like motherfuckers are popping on like YouTube and shit. If they're in high school, like everyone's fucking with them crazy. Like no one's making fun of anybody for that. But back then, I was like, I'm not getting bullied for this shit, dog. Hell no. My friends stopped talking. I'm trying to get roasted. Started selling weed. They're like, you fucking sell weed now. Ugh. And then in college, the ones they stopped being my homies in tenth grade, taxed the fuck out of them. They started selling, smoking weed in college. I'm like, yeah, I got you, bro. Sixty grand, fucking got you. Sixty grand. It oh, was bro. like sixty-seven, seventy dollars eights. I was getting them at. I'm like, this is the fire one. So one is a little cheaper. It was the same fucking weed. They had no idea. <laughs> yeah, my bad, Brett. Um, but they used to make fun of me and she's like, "You're a fucking loser." Because I quit the football team and shit. Not because of weed, just because I quit the football team, just happened to start selling weed too. Yeah. So, so they I, thought like you quit to sell weed and it's just the way it, man. Yeah, yeah. So I feel you, like I used to hide that shit. Yeah. Yeah. I, isn't that weird? Like, oh, you, you're the weed guy, you're the coolest guy in school now, and you play games? Oh, fucking girls are all over you. I'm like, what? Nerd shit is okay <laughs> now? No. It's fucking weird, man. I know. We were the guinea pigs mm -hmm. back then. We was cool though in Canada growing up, even in like the 2000s, right? Wait, what? Like weed? in Canada. Oh, yeah. Growing yeah. up. Like, it was, you weren't getting. Pulled over and the car stripped looking for it and shit. Like, dude, I smoked five times before, like, I was like 19, probably five to oh, 10 times. Okay. I didn't smoke that much before I like started smoking. And when I started smoking, I never stopped. Mm -hmm. Oh, got you, got you. That's a good question. Yeah. What is it like in Canada for the weed? Our attitude to it was like it was so much more chiller over there, like from the New York side of the bridge. Dude, <laughs> like, honestly, I'm just trying to think about every one of my homies that got like booked for weed back in the day. They all just like, most of the shit that I remember, the cops honestly just took that shit. Because oh, so they were like, okay. un, yeah, because they were all kids, right? So it's like the cops just like took it, tried to give him a life lesson, and then went and smoked it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Officer Nelson Merced stole my quarter. I watched him put it in his fucking pocket. <laughs> Bastard. I don't <laughs> care. Officer Nelson. Officer Everybody Nelson. gets aired out on that. that is that Achi's name? That's his <laughs> fucking name. Officer Nelson, fuck you. Twice in one week, he pulled me over, stole my weed twice. Damn. And I think he just knew. Like that guy's got fucking fire. I'm gonna pull his ass over every time I see him. <laughs> Free weed. Free weed. Yeah. Was, what are you gonna do? Call the cops and say the officer took you. my weed? <laughs> like what? Are you, yeah. Like don't check my trunk. There's scales and pounds back there. Take the quarter. Yeah, dude. Fuck him. Um, okay, hold on. Range runs. Mm -hmm. You're saying so? Uh, eight or nine stores out here? 
I think it's only like five. Yeah. Five. Yeah. All right. So for everyone out there that wants to smoke some weed, there you go. So you That's actually it. puts your passion into that. How long did it take you to go that one? Um, I think we tried about like 50 or a little bit more than 50. Mm -hmm. And then I was really fucking with it. But then I kind of got hoed because they, I had to end up using a different pheno for it. But it was still good. But it just wasn't the one I selected. Is it weird? Yeah. Because it wouldn't like be there off. on time. Yeah. But it is like I prefer the other pheno. But it's still fire. You know what I mean? But I would call that one like a nine. The other one at time for sure. Mm -hmm. A nine right. is great, bro. I, know, <laughs> I thought you were going to say like four. Oh, hell no. Oh, no, okay. No. So you care. <laughs> no. Because my partner, Quinn, like, you know what I mean? It's funny because I met Quinn through Eric back in the day. And um, just he taught me a lot about weed and so what every person in the industry does to kind of like cut costs and like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like use bad flour, but then they'll use like dab or keef to like make it stronger. But it's like they're using bad flour for like pre-rolls and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Just mm -hmm. little things like that. Like my boy Quinn, he does not smoke pre-rolls. He just takes them and he breaks them open to see how bad is shit they put in there. I swear mm -hmm. I've never seen him smoke a pre-roll in my life. He only nice. like breaks them apart just to like from everyone, from every brand. So he just like taught me a lot about like all that stuff. Like even like the fake dab cards, like what they do for that. The way people grow weed with pesticides, whatnot. It's like he's very like gung-ho on like clean flour and like clean product and not selling anything that's remotely bad for you. So I was always like with that. And I was like, Is wow. he helping you curate in the back end? Of course. Yeah. Me oh, and him okay, like are perfect. the big Yeah, me and him do everything together when it comes to like like weed selects when we were like trying all the samples and everything. So yeah. You need that though. Yeah, no, he's a man for sure. If you, he was in the video game world, you'd be like, yo, so help me out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, no, so I understand. Like, it's not that, like, oh, this guy's making the decisions. Like, no, he's helping me along the way. Yeah, no, we're all like me, him, and you, and you're all like equal partners. We're all on the same. Mm -hmm. same that's what that's what I do with my, I have a brand, The Dopest. Have you ever heard like alternative cannabinoids? Mm mm. Um, you ever Delta 9s, Delta 8s, Delta, Delta 8s? Yeah. Okay, so those What's are. What's Delta 9? They're, Delta nine is like a form of THC. It's I, I just mix that in there because Delta eight is just CBD. Delta eight's like a CBD. I don't fuck with Delta eight. It's it's just it's kind of like a placebo. Okay. There's five other cannabinoids that work really good, and there's one HHC that I made a company of. But the way you're saying it's like you know I have somebody helping me. My friend Hash House. He's got a big hash brand. He's a snob. I'm a snob. Yeah. So we've been curating all these things. HHC is shippable to all fifty states. It gets you fucking high. It's shit. a Delta nine. No, no, no. It's a, uh, I always say, you guys ever heard Deltas? It's Delta 11. Like, it's the new one. Because everybody's heard Delta 10, Delta this. It's hard to explain. But it is HHC. CBD. It's its own cannabinoid. It's, it's a cannabinoid. There's CBD. The plant, we mix basically. in CBD with it. Okay. CBN, CBGs too. But you're saying you can sell it in every state? Every You saw it online too? Mm -hmm. Door to door. So then why is it not illegal then? Like, why is it federally not illegal? It's not THC. Because it doesn't, okay. But it gets you high? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. Yeah, I'll give you a I'll give you a box to take home. Try it. Careful with the edibles; they're strong as fuck. <laughs> yeah, <The> so. edibles <laughs> fuck me up. I've had a tolerance to every drug possible, but not. I can't say that because there's fucking crazy drugs out there. But you know, no, what take I mean. this home. That's our little new box. Oh, Inside man, is you. all the is all the stuff. The hella high. Club. I'm sure this is shit that would destroy me. Yeah, Absolutely. the edibles. <laughs> the edibles. Be careful with man. When you go no, home, I know then, edibles yeah. kill me. Thank you, brother. Yeah, and then over there. Oh yeah, no, I explained to to your man because I have mushroom edibles over there and I put them in another spot because. I have real edibles over there. They just people, look like butterscotch. Crumbles. Yeah, I just don't want people like oh, I'm fucking on mushrooms now. Could you, could you imagine going to a podcast as like <laughs> a eating one of the like, oh, I'm in candies? Oh, fuck, <laughs> there's a pile of wrappers and mushroom edibles over there. But those and then it hits you on the drive home, like halfway the ones. Oh no, I would suck. We fucked her on. You just slowly look at me. Accidentally had an episode on them the other day. Yeah, we yeah. ate way too many edibles on an episode the other day. I mean, mushroom on the episode the other day. Not Damn, terrible. you're not. You weren't. Is it your first time being on shrooms on a podcast? No, we've done it a few times, but this time I was me. too. I feel like I would not want to be on a podcast well, if I was on fun. shrooms. I feel like oh, I had to say I something was, stupid. Oh, no, gotta, every time I was just hyper aware. My patterns were going too much in here. You see the walls? Oh, yeah. yeah. I've been staring at Homer the whole time. Yeah, much. right? <laughs> Sick, right? Yeah. But I just, all the greens, I told Marty, all the greens came out and like all the other colors were fading and it was like neon lights. And I'm like, I'm trying to do a show. Uh, Fuck. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't yeah, that fun. It was, it was definitely de fucking distracting. Yeah, I kind of want to watch that one. You but should. Yeah. Was it? it was with Josh Wolf, Josh and Jacob. Josh Wolf, and Jacob. Like Wolf. Does back. all your shit get age restricted? Um, we're trying to work around that. I tried to say fuck in the first ten minutes, and I tried to smoke too mm. much weed in the first ten. I don't minutes. think the swearing is what age restricts. So. I mean, I think that just like gives you sometimes not suitability for the ads. But I, just, I don't think age ever age. We haven't been age restricted the past like dozen episodes, which is really great. We've implemented Thank some you. light censorship. Spotify doesn't age restrict us at all. They love us across the board. Yeah. But YouTube, we're just trying to like try tiptoe. Yeah, because you know, give oh them yeah, what they want. Yeah, because I've been deleted on Insta on YouTube before, and he got my account back. So YouTube, we're, we're like like 
we're walking the edge with them. We have three channels basically. So the Dope is Yola channel, which is his main one, that historically has always been age restricted. Oh yeah, my Wii channels always restricted. Our past two videos weren't, right? Yeah, they monetize. But that's like Eric shit too. I just talking to Eric about it because he he gets it bad. I get it bad, man. Yeah, yeah. They they fucking play. They delete Eric shit constantly on Instagram. Yeah, Eric yeah, doesn't have Instagram, Instagram when I just got was, all of his shit disabled. Yeah, in Instagram, he has yeah. like one like burner one right now. It's t- me. I don't post weed anymore on Instagram. I don't fucking talk about. You want to risk it? No, I mean the past eight accounts I haven't still get them all deleted mm-hmm. somehow. Yeah. We started our own app. We should do an update about this. Yeah, we started Dope's, our own, started app, our own as app as a place to post whatever we want. Dope's Yola app because they'll send you a text and be like, "Yo, new new video out." Even YouTube might not send that, gotcha. but our app will. Yeah, so yeah. It, it's a little loophole. Just to try to get around the. It, it helps, man. Shadow bands. It helps. Stuff. It helps as much as we can. You yeah. know. Um, so I want to ask you a question. As us being mad ignorant, I said to the video game Earth. Not I went either. to the, I went to the <laughs> Call of Duty World yeah. Championship thing, and like I, I was telling Martin, like, motherfuckers are lining up getting autographs, like like that's Dwight Howard and shit. Fools had jerseys of their I know, names, it's signing controllers. <laughs> I was so happy to see. No, that's it. Like, probably so funny if like you don't know about it, but then you pull up so yeah. you see like gamers and jerseys signing. That's yes. actually fucking bro. Crazy. I didn't know. I walked in because Tex told me he invited us. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna check it out. And I got there. I'm like, there's nothing outside. Is this gonna be whack? Walk in packed. I'm like, oh, they're 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 not drinking and getting high outside like a football game. <laughs> I'm not used to a stadium of yeah. people acting civilized and shit. <laughs> but I walked in. And there was chanting, and there was people cheering, and there was people on stage playing fucking games on screens. I, I was hyped, and I didn't even understand what the fuck was going on. And I yeah. was hyped, bro. No, it is cool. It's a cool environment just to see like all the passion, you know, and everyone just like mm-hmm. I don't know. They get really into shit. So cool. if there's 80 people in Phase Clan, how many people are doing like that competitive style competitions? Or half, half, forty people. Yeah, yeah, because I'm pretty sure it's no. Hold up. I don't know, the roster actually gives you the exact number. We've gotten a lot now, so it's like harder to keep mm-hmm. track of exactly how many people. But I want to say it was, like because if you click on all, oh, it's just like, yeah, there's like 40 content creators and like 40 pros, I'm pretty sure. Maybe even more pros, because we have a lot of teams. Probably gotcha. maybe like 60 pros. And it spreads across different games. We're probably even more, I don't know. We just have so many teams now. And obviously, it's like we've gotten that big. We don't obviously individually like love every single game that we have pro teams for, but it's just all yeah. part of the sports. You know what I mean? I want to take them all. Mm-hmm, that's smart. So there's a there's a there's like a, an event for each game, championships. Of oh each my game. god, yeah, dude. There's like, there's like so 10 games, many. right? Oh yeah, Call of Duty dude. championship. What am I saying? Yeah, there's so many different games with like. There's like a Street Fighter dude, called championship. For, yeah, but they're smaller. You know what I mean? But there's even like Rocket League. If you know what that is, it's like with cars, the, cars, soccer. and soccer. Yeah, there's that. There's Yo, like you got to be Rainbow badass Six, to be good at that Calvin. game. Yeah. There's Overwatch, Halo, Call mm-hmm. of Duty. Even like FIFA had comp- we just have a competitive player. You FIFA. guys took in first place at different games, multiple mm-hmm. games. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, this is this is yeah. way this is sick. That's so if you're a faith clan phase clan <laughs> content creator, that like what does that mean for the content you put out if you're not a gamer? It, I mean, it could be anything. You know what I mean? It used to just be gaming. Like it hasn't been strictly gaming since like fuck, I don't know, mm-hmm. 2014, 15. But then we when we moved in together, like our the shit that we found getting like the most views and popped off the most was like our real life content, which mm-hmm. had nothing to do with gaming. Yeah, but it was like. Our foundation was gaming, where we come from is gaming, and our roots mm-hmm. are gaming. It's so all of our fans, even though they'd be watching real life shit, they're still gamers and shit. But then people watch me that didn't even watch video games at all. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So, like, you just end up, like, you know, branching off and gaining that entirely mm-hmm. different fan base. So, we kind of, you know, we mixed it up when we started, like, personalities. Yeah. It started, it became more about that. Cause that's what I realized is, like, unless you're, like, the top three best gamers, you're better off banking on you being, like, funny or something, mm-hmm. like, cause it's like, dog. People don't care about the 20th best gamer if you have no personality. Like if you have UFC no fire. personality <laughs> and you're the 20th best, why would I watch you? I could just watch Damn. the first top three. Oh, so it's man. like if you want to be big in content creation and you just focus on being like the best gamer, then you are gunning just to be the top three. Because mm-hmm. it's really like, I'm telling you, it doesn't really like pop like that unless, you know, you have something. You have to be a little bit funny or I people have keep, to like your optimism. Just keep thinking about uh, you. Mm-hmm. Happy Gilmore. Like Shooter McGavin's the best one. He's got three people in line. Happy Gilmore's over there with fucking a crowd. Yeah. Like you better be Happy Gilmore mm-hmm. if you're not yeah. Shooter McGavin. Yeah. I mean, one of the biggest like Call of Duty content creators has historically, like he's in phase, it's Jev, but he's like, he was never there for highlights. He would actually put low lights up. He would like just be fucking up. Yeah, him just screaming, See, that's getting cool. killed. Right? Like and that. he's always been one of like for a decade strong. He's been the most consistent like Call of Duty creator, like pulling numbers. So it's like it's, it's about him. People love Jeff. They don't give a fuck about his gameplay. So it's like you would rather that happen anyways, because that's almost how it went with me. People oh, yeah. used to just care about the trick shots. And I was like, I need to do something because then I have to always hit this shit or mm-hmm. else they don't give a fuck about me. You know what I mean? So like 
That's kind of also why I started transitioning doing other stuff because I didn't want to have to do that every day oh, in order to get a video. Because you have to get you. lucky. There is like a luck aspect to it. And sometimes it was stressful as fuck. I can't so, imagine, man. You just, sometimes you just on a dry streak. Like, life sucks. You're not hitting shit, hit mm -hmm. markers, shit like that. I don't know. But you seem like you have such a connection with your fans. Like it's different than, you know, we kind of evaluate everybody that comes on and yeah. like look at what mm -hmm. they have going on. But it seems like you and your fans are really tight. And Yeah, I mean... Because I, I, I would the only, I mean, what people have also told me, like all of them have pretty much told me, it's because I've just been super open about everything. You know, I don't really like have an image to protect. Gotcha. It's just me out here. Yeah. Just like I don't have no image. I, I will say anything. I will. Oh, yeah. I don't care. Uh -huh. Like, so. I think about yeah. that though. Could you imagine going to bed going, what did I say today? Oof. In front of who? All right, cool. I got to be that guy for like, oh my that's what I'm God, saying. I could never <laughs> imagine that stressful. So it's like, that's always just been my thing is it's like, I don't have like, I don't like cap on shit. I don't like need to do that. It's like, whatever it is, it is like, I'll own up to it. I don't give a, f like they, and the thing is what I've realized is like, everybody makes mistakes. Just other people are better at hiding it. You know what I mean? Some people oh, just like want to sure. hide it and they'll sit there and judge like, I can't believe that guy did that. Meanwhile, in the back, they got like, I did worse. <laughs> That's why I feel like when the internet purge happens, a lot of people are going to be a lot more understanding. Because I've always been saying, one that? day, and I think fucking TikTok is going to be the one to do it. I just feel like one day, everyone's info is going to leak. Everyone's. What do you mean? Just every, everything we got on our phone, everything's coming out. Oh, I don't know why. It. I just feel like because it hasn't happened yet, it's going to happen. Then everyone's going to be like, oh, wow, we're all weird. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I hope know? that day comes and they go, let's look at Thomas. Oh, he's, yeah, he's just high. Like, yeah, <laughs> motherfucker. He's high. Here's my phone. Here's my password. I don't care. I, that's going to be a great day. Like, everybody's uh, going to do this. Gonna, it's going to be insane. That's what oh, I'm saying. Fuck. It's just like, if someone even tries to talk to it, someone must pull up their receipts and be like, Bro. remember what you were watching three in the morning one time? Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Yo, that? I never I just feel like Monday, that. since like you hear about like TikTok and having everyone shit. I don't know. It's pretty freaky. Mm -hmm. I've, pretty yeah, I've been freaky. Some, I never thought about that. Some Eventually. Freaky shit about what they do with the information from TikTok. I'm not on yeah. TikTok, but fucking. I send him yeah. TikToks constantly because we see yeah, some, yeah. I see some funny shit. Uh -huh. And that, uh, the only reason I like that app because it's like, you know what I want to watch, motherfucker. Show me funny shit. If not, don't <laughs> even fucking put this app on. Mm -hmm. they, they cater to whoever's on the phone, man. Yeah. I will say that. Um, There's this endless content on there because every type of like no. genre content is on there. It's sometimes I'll be watching shit. My, you know, go through my likes and you can go through a likes of someone's fucking app. And go, yeah, we'll probably be friends. Mm -hmm. It's even <laughs> funny because like on a subconscious like time investment level, you feel like oh, it's just ten seconds. I can watch a TikTok. Like, who cares? That's what I'm saying. I'm mm -hmm. watching two hours. two hours worth of ten second yeah. cuts. Crazy. Two days ago, I told Rosie, I'm done being on my fucking phone. I don't like. I'm done scroll. I'll be on my phone like an hour went by. I feel like a piece of shit. You know, maybe you miss your homework. Like I could have done my homework. I didn't do my homework. Fuck. But that's why I like personally fuck with YouTube Shorts because I don't know what's good with my algorithm. But mine's actually like, like t whenever I was on TikTok, I'd feel like I just see stupid funny shit that More wouldn't like nothing. I wouldn't gain nothing mentally from that at all. But all my shit on like YouTube Shorts is like I don't know like. Shit about like Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Bill mm, Gates, Steve Jobs, info. like Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali, Kobe, Jordan. I don't know. It's like cool shit. I don't know. That's funny you say that. Literally everybody you named is always on my YouTube shorts. Yeah. They're always showing me like, yeah. this is how you're going to make me. And then dogs. hella <laughs> Top G stuff. You know what I mean? Top G stuff. Top G. You're not familiar. Top G's a rapper? Really? I'm sorry. Andrew I Tate? Oh, I know who that guy is. He's yeah. a top G, man. Come bald on. dude. Yeah, bald yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really get on the internet like that. Whenever I see shit trending, I go, I'm Hold away. You, you didn't see him away. like all over your shit? When he was no. like, he had like a run, dude. Wow. He had a How run. How did like, he do that? Like, um, because he made some sort of thing called like Hustlers University or whatever. And like part of the program, I'm pretty sure, was to promote it. And then uh, like you would make an affiliate code off people that signed up. So then the people that were in the program it's like you know yeah. pyramid scheme type gotcha. shit, but it's cool. He did his thing. You know yeah, I, mean? I saw yeah. I saw a couple clips of him and go, oh, so he's it's character. Ish. I'll wait two months. And then when they start talking about it differently, no, Ish. he's really like that. But he just like what I think is like he just says like out of pocket things for the shock value, just to get oh, people to listen. Sure. But then he'll start saying some real shit because he actually knows what he's talking about and like you shock know. rap. Yeah, mm. he just rap value, yeah, shock yeah. value. Yeah, but he obviously does know what he's talking about. But even people that don't like him, like you can't I've listen to him. But they won't it. listen to him for mm. a few hours. To even listen to you know, yeah. so they'll think like he just says super misogynistic shit or just like which yeah. he does. And he'll mm. he said some yeah. crazy. Yeah, I shit saw some dog. shit. Yeah. Yeah, it's, like, but you're I, a cartoon. Yeah, but in that sense, mm. I feel like he's being a comedian. But it's like hard to tell the difference when you're trying to act like you're spinning all the time, but then fake yeah, being yeah. a comedian. So it's like. You know, Dude, I just saw I clips of a people. guy smoking a cigar, ball guy, and then just a bunch of people being mad. And I'm like, what did he say? And I watched it go, 
He's just a 1950s, like, a macho man <laughs> that could say anything he wanted with no re repercussions. You mean just living your life? I don't watch him then, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. I don't. <laughs> like, just don't watch him then. Could you imagine getting butthurt? Like, could you, like, I don't know. I could it never get butthurt. It's so much for person. me to get butthurt about, like, somebody saying some, like, that I never met. borderline iffy shit on the internet. It's crazy, too, that they, like, banned him off. Every I yeah, saw that. He got That's canceled, great. like, Alan Jones. That's freedom of Jones. speech, though. People just should, whether you like him or not, you shouldn't like that. That's freedom of speech. Because it's not even like he, like, I get it if somebody's like, guys, we got to meet up here and do this. And, like, they're trying to cause crime or whatever. Right but in. he didn't do any, anything other than have a lot of people like him and agree with him. And then social media think that's a bad thing. But that's just, like, people in general agreeing with what he's saying. I, I thought I missed know. something. He's I, not. I me mean, too. I know, but that's just also a difference of opinion. But you know, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just freedom of speech. Too, you can just not watch it. I feel like almost now, even, like, me saying that, it's kind of like how shit was with Trump back in the day. It's like, if you even, like, speak on it, it's like you're on his side and... Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of division between that two now. It's so yeah. just weird. Filling it's us just like, on show. he's just yeah. the top yeah. G, dude. Yeah. What are you <laughs> like, What the fuck? Now that you said that, yeah, he yeah. should scream that. I've seen a video of him screaming that and saying, people that smoke weed are, are dumb or some shit. I went, oh, I don't yeah. know if I fuck with this guy. I'm out of here. And that's what happened. I saw I, that and I went, uh, I don't know who this is, but I'm good. Yeah. I, I mean, but we, yeah, the well. thing is with weed is like it can be great for people and it can be bad for people depending on your, like your perception with it, you know, and mm -hmm. the way that you for use sure. it. For me, I always tell people it's like if you don't have a routine in life and all you're doing is smoking all day, yeah, that's because weed makes you comfortable, right? And here that just makes you comfortable and also yeah. enhances how you feel. So if you like are just comfortable all the time, you're not really getting those feelings of like boredom and stuff that make you go out there and get shit done. Mm. So it's like that's a great way to put that. Yeah, it's not that you're lazy; it's just you're comfortable with being plus like complacent. So yeah. you never even find yourself being bored that often because anything is good enough. You're just comfortable. So it's like if you need to do shit with your life, it's like I always tell people like just cut down on the smoking, get your routine in place, and then mm -hmm. like the routine is everything. In. Yeah. It's yeah. everything. Because yeah. if you have a routine, like look at you, you're getting work done, you're doing yeah. podcasts all the time, you're doing your I was thing. Just about to reach for that joint too when you said yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean like yeah. you're getting shit done. You're a functional smoker. You know what I mean? Because you have your Good routine. Time. But if you stop doing everything. And you, you know, started oh, cool smoking things. all day and like you just wake up and be stoned all fucking day. Get nothing mm -hmm. done. Maybe it'd be harder for you to get motivated again. It's true. You know? It is true because when I was selling packs, all I did was sell weed from fucking 18 to 20s. I will say whatever, 20 something. All I do is selling packs and I would sit up and smoke two ounces of weed with my homies and all day do nothing. Sell weed, sell packs, sell eight, sell yeah. shit. But it's also different when it's you're selling drugs because no, it's like you can like, be stoned there was all nothing day to do. customers coming in and out, like, right? So it, it, it wasn't fun to me though. Yeah. Like, now that I think back, like, what I do, watch more compilations on fucking YouTube every day, all day. Yeah. I was making money, but was I really, like, stoked? No. no was, there's I, no fulfillment. No, so, I couldn't yeah. leave town because somebody else might get packed from somebody else. Better price. I, that guy's gone. I can't go to out of town. On I can't do anything. I can't go here. You have to be on call. Like, it's 3 in the morning. Get up, fool. What if you go somewhere else? Fuck. All right, here. Because I taxed that guy. Like, I got to get him. <laughs> it's, never, it's never, like, fun. So yeah. what you're saying, like, it makes you comfortable. It made me comfortable with just making money. I'm like, fuck it. This is not poor. Yeah. That's how I felt. But as soon as I stopped, I'm like, what was I doing just sitting here? Yeah. So it's not the weed. It was the environment of my head of like, no, two zips because why not? You don't need to smoke two ounces a day Yeah. at all. Nobody needs to. You were smoking two zips a day at one point? Yeah. Yeah. I was smoking so much. Just to your face? Uh, like by yourself? No, I had homies with me. So oh, if okay. I'm saying like, if I'm smoking nonstop, probably like. 25 grams 20 grams but oh, like yeah. eight ten joints like just power smoke you, you know what i'm saying yeah Stupid no, i had shit. a very bad phase like that too at least like a zip a day but not like two zips probably yeah it's hell. too much dude. but it was like this non-stop rolling dude that's yeah. my life and they, they got it's boring like, to the point where i'm like i'm annoyed with rolling shit it's like yeah. i gotta sit here 10 minutes fuck now i don't mind the rolling i just hate breaking up weed dude because like I, I can't you can't really use a grinder for like blunts and shit like that oh you gotta do by it's hand like, and shit yeah. or scissors no, scissors, that's crazy talk. I've seen my homies do scissors with uh, duchess. They're weirdly lazy. Just break it up. <laughs> but I feel them too, though. I got feel them. Or the shot glass and scissors. It is don't hit the same. <laughs> Something about it. The, I don't know, the way it burns. I just, I don't like it. No, I, Even I I've tried it. like a grinder, like just one, two, ha, huh, ha. Huh. I'm like, go. You still. can't grind just, blunts. Yeah. You just can't, dude. I can't grind bowls and smoke them. They taste different. It's like I can taste the stem. So you hand grind for bowls too? Never in life. I don't hand grind for bowls. I oh, only, so you. Saying like when people grind weed up and take it out of the grinder and pack a bowl. Oh. Wait, so what do you do for balls? I, hand, I peel everything off of my finger. Oh, that's what I'm saying. So you yeah. hand grind. Yeah, I'm saying for, like I only hand Oh, grind. I thought you were saying you don't hand grind. No, and then saying, you also don't grind. No, because you're saying like if I grind it and the blunt tastes different. If I grind a ball, ugh, I can't smoke it. Gotcha. I don't know what it is. Yeah. It's like there's some like a little lingering yeah. taste. So you don't really use grinders at all ever? I use grinders only for joints. Okay. Yeah, but I smoke a lot of joints. So I'm because a half With joints, half. you need it to be grinded, right? I have to. Otherwise, it'll like burn the paper. Burn, and burn weird. It'll... Yeah. You, I think of blunts as construction paper. 
Like it's stiff, it's solid. Yeah. Even if there's a hole in the side, it'll still hold shape. If there's a hole in this, it's fucking over. It's nothing's yeah. gonna fix it in life. <laughs> Reroll it. Like it's done. So that that's that's how I like to think about it. But also like with joints, like it's the same fucking little thing every single time the paper. So you always get the same consistent leaf. With like a blunt, it's like every pack I open is a whole different leaf with a different texture, with different stems. It's a, it's a movie, dude. You like it? No, I hate it. Oh, I, so like, I hate it. No, I hate it. It's stressful as hell. <laughs> I wish it was like joint paper. There's like the same fucking thing every time. Like when I used to get blunts back in the day and shit, it was like a roll of the dice. If you get a stale one or a fresh one, is this going to just crumble in my hands? Like, I'm sure that's not a factor, but I remember that shit. Yeah. It's like, okay. it is like opening Pokemon cards. I said that a lot. <laughs> it, no, for real. It do feel that way. Cause you open it like, oh. You know, uh, I've had homies that smoke backwards and she go, fuck, fuck. F-. All right, here we go. Like you just lost eight dollars. Yeah, no, I, I like. There's certain leaves like you open, and you just know the leaf. Like, let me try to open one right now. I wouldn't be surprised if the leaf is like trash. Mm-hmm. In this episode, we've teamed up with established titles, and we're giving back to the trees. This project is based in Scotland, and did you know people that have land out there are called lords? Yes, guys, 2022, and they're still using lords out there. That's proper. Guess what? Lord Dopaziola is here. I have my own land in Scotland. Guys, with established titles, they're giving you one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate in Scotland. Each certificate has a unique plot number on it that shows you your exact plot and where it's located in Scotland. This is a global charity, guys. Every single donation or order you plant one tree think about that you're planting trees in another place for restoration of the earth they even have couple packs for you and your significant other with adjoining land what an astonishing holiday gift and this is a little wild guys but marty and i have our plots anybody that uses our link is going to get their plot in our little section it's called the dope as usual kingdom and it is in scotland right now established titles is running their biggest sale of the year their black friday discount go to establishedtitlescom slash dope and get an additional 10 percent off again thank you guys so much this is the first thing we've ever done like this let's push some trees and plant some trees I'm hyped. These knives are dope. Kamikoto is high quality Japanese steel using ancient techniques passed down for many generations. 19 step process to make this knife and each one is inspected. This is like some kill bill sores, but for your kitchen. Yes, you can go to Walmart and buy a knife, but why not buy a knife that's going to last you forever? And when I mean forever, I mean it comes with a lifetime warranty. This is literally the last knife set you're ever going to need. Each knife comes in this beautiful heavy duty ash wood box, keeps you safe and makes it even a better gift when you give this to somebody before they even see the knives you know it's high quality you know it's durable these are baller the seven inch blade is for vegetables i didn't know that did you know there's different knives for different stuff the slicing knife right here eight and a half inches long that's for slicing and then you know the standard utility knife down here five inches these things are sharp kemikoto is running a special black friday deal for all the dope as usual listeners get an extra 50 dollars usd off your purchase with discount code dope on top of all the other offers they have going on remember guys that's kamikoto.com forward slash dope dope that's our discount code and that's going to get you 50 dollars off your set i don't even have a new pack Hell no no oh, okay so but i guarantee one's fucked oh yeah yeah <laughs> that's why because i open them and then i throw them back in because i'm like i don't want the sleeve i don't want the sleeve so i just open them and throw them in that's the worst i don't know <laughs> but also the best because you remember the days you're like let's all throw it on one blunt you know, I never experienced that, unfortunately, in life. No, fortunately, it no, sucks. No, it sounds fun. No. It didn't. It wasn't. <laughs> it Trying to find a hobo that looks nice enough to actually buy your blunts for you and not just take it, that's the no, worst. I guess you right. That does sound awesome. You did great. I promise. I have a homie that started smoking at 21, so he's never smoked Bammer. Like, ever. He's never smoked bad weed. And it's awesome. Yeah. Like, I think if you got to, if you got to skip it. Yeah. Good for you. Because you have your had to <laughs> run from cops while smoking cans in, in a forest? No. Then fucking great. I have smoked from a can in a forest, but there was no cops chasing us in there. Okay. Yeah, yeah but stuff like that. Yeah. Like, you know, you missed nothing. There was yeah. experiences. No, I, I remember smoking from a can. I remember smoking out of a, like a gravity bong out of a water bottle. And yeah. One of my homies did that. And then, like, I think the other times was joint, joint, bong called it. That's it. Really? In high school? Yeah, yeah in high school. Did you do good in school? I forgot to ask that. I don't know. Oh, I was on my YouTube shit, man. School, I put that in second place. Like, that's know, fine. Yeah, man. that's fine. And my principal told me to drop money. out too. So, because to go do video games. Yeah. Oh, like, I mean, I was making more than him he as was like, a dick, <laughs> or like, yo, this is no, because like he had like a good job with like this newspaper thing in Toronto, like back in the day, and um, his parents made him stop that because they didn't think it was going to be anything, and it ended up actually popping off. It's called Toronto Sun or whatever, 
And um, <sighs> so he like felt it too like personally because like his parents made him stop. He's like, now I'm a fucking principal, dude. Mm. Oh, <laughs> That's what he told man. me. Like, he wasn't gassed about it. And um, he, I, dude, I wish I remember what he said, but he said something like really wholesome and cute. I can't remember what he said, but like he said like, Something about like school not putting you in a position to have to go to college, but it's to get you ready in life. Some shit like that. Yeah. But he said it really beautifully. And like it just like, you know, resonated with me too. And like he just told me it's like school's always gonna be here, bro. This opportunity won't be. Like if you say, like, okay, I'm gonna stop this YouTube shit, go to school, get my fucking calls and say, All right, let me try YouTube again, like that might not work. But if you try the YouTube thing for two years and then that doesn't work, school's that's a fucking building, this is always here, it's not going anywhere. So who cares? It's like you're on your time, you don't have to be on school's time. So Damn. Well, I'm glad, man. Yeah, Fuck. dude. If it wasn't for him, my mom would have been tweaking. Like she, even though she should have, because like three months later, I retired her. So it's like, what are you even? Like, oh shit! Mom? In high school? <laughs> yeah. Like, well, I mean, I dropped out, and then three months later, retired her. Yeah. She's been like not working since. You were fucking making money like that young? I mean, honestly, oh. like now that I look back at it, I didn't even like. I kind of prematurely told her to retire because I wanted to. Like, but like I didn't have that much money saved up. Like, not <laughs> like, like you so, I could have like sold on YouTube. Like, yeah, mom, sorry, you gotta go back to work. Like, you it, it, it could have happened, but I just like, you know three months in because I didn't mom. need nothing. You know, I had no bills. So it's like I don't. The money can just yeah. go to her. I don't really like that shit. Like, I'm what the fuck am I buying? Nothing. Mm -hmm. So it's like I don't know. Damn, your mom scored. Yeah, nah. she scored with the side. I scored like, I to got get her. Good one. Did nah, she feel the same way the principal did? Like hell she, no. She wasn't nah, so supportive. Mom, nah, because she didn't understand it. And like, what your mom do for work? She was a manager at a dollar store. Oh, so she's working, working like my mom. Yeah, my mom like sixty hours a plus. week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Mom. She'd always like be super. She'd always like all of our biggest arguments would happen because she'd come home so mad and upset about work. So it's like mm. that's why I realized like before anything like that has to mm -hmm. happen. You know. Mm -hmm. Good shit. For your principal to know, you must have, because you said you were like keeping it a secret, but you must have been like a fucking oh, yeah, there you in go. school at no. a certain point. No, no, no. no. I just, I'd never like talked about it like that. I'd only told that my principal was like who I broke the news to. I didn't even tell my mom like how much I was making. No. The time. That's yeah. crazy. I love this. Come on. Sorry. I avoided it. You're going into the, the principal's office because you're in my trouble? One of at the time, like one of them, but that's like nobody were, else. Were you in the principal's it. office because you were in trouble? No, because so what I happened was I had to, um, so I had a cooking class, right? And they, I had, they wanted me to take an exam, but the exam was during MLG Anaheim, and that wasn't going to happen. What's MLG? What does that mean? It was like a Call of Duty event. That's when we're all going to meet each other. Like all the same <laughs> You're not like, going to miss that fuck shit. Right? I'm missing yeah. I have to do a fucking exam. You got me fucked up. <laughs> so I just said, like, I'm not, can I do the exam early? Teacher said yes. And then two days later, he says no. He says, never mind. I can't in case you give the other students the answers to the test. I'm like, dude, I'm not. I'm going to California. Just like, stop. Yeah. And he said no. So if I didn't do the exam, it was like 20% or whatever. So I like would fail the class because I was barely going to class anyways. It was a fucking cooking class, dude. Whatever. Oh, wait. For Omec? Fuck no. I can cook right? another day. Like it's literally a cooking class. Whatever, dude. That's I'm not going to be a chef. I guess what? <laughs> I ain't going to be a chef. Whatever. But. Yeah, so I had to pretty much like that credit. He told me I would have to do summer school, and I was also just like not doing summer school because I got way too much YouTube shit to do. So then my principal said, "Honestly, just drop out, dude." He's like that just makes way more fucking sense. You might be the only person ever to have their principals tell them shit I like that. I love yeah. that. Damn. Nah, I'm sure you might have told someone else if they were. Doing nah, <laughs> he didn't. It was just you. I promise. <laughs> hey, How much you making? Video games. Get the fuck out of my office. That's what he pretty much said. Yeah, you're making more than him in school. That's the I love. <laughs> no, it's 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 great, dude. Because you don't see kids that actually any other kid would have been telling every single person every morning how much YouTube was paying them. He was hiding it. I love that yeah. man. I don't tell nobody. I was like, I do embarrassing. Shit. It's funny because the one homie that I did tell about it, he was like the only reason I told him is because like he was my age, but he had more money than me. I was like, how? Like he had like fifty bands saved up at the time, like in in uh, in like senior year. So in twelfth grade, what was he doing? Saving his money since he was six years old. Like he what had like a he doing to get it. Any, no, no, like if you think about it, like if you save everything, he would do every possible job. And he's like a white kid. Right? Oh, so he's like, one of those kids. That's what I was yeah, doing yeah, too. Like he would do every Can possible fucking job. That? Every possible like you have no idea. Like when I tell you everything. <laughs> and his girlfriend is entire, like he had dated a girl for like six years, and like her parents were super strict Spanish family. So she wasn't allowed to leave the crib ever. You only saw her at school and he was so butthurt about all the time, he just worked to get time to go by so he'd go see his girlfriend. I love Kinda that cute. guy. Mm. Yeah, he he came up on a bag doing that. So like, <laughs> that's tight. But like for so long, like it took him. I can't even imagine how many hours he put in for that fifty k. Like he probably put in like, dude. <laughs> to be in high I, get it. Yeah, I swear, it's like not even worth it when you think about. How, he probably got paid a dollar an hour. He worked fucking fifty thousand hours, yeah. dude. Like, <laughs> like, yo, that sounds like me. <laughs> I didn't get paid shit. I'm like, yo, can I build that fence? I think my grandpa gave me fifty dollars with my dad. Uh, Spent four days building yeah. that fence. But I was like six, so yeah, fuck, who cares? Up, Fifty yeah. bucks, yeah. damn. 
<laughs> went to Toys R Us. I got GI Joe. I remember what I bought. I bought Blitz. Got GI Joes. I remember all this shit. No. Yeah, it's good shit. GI Joe and Blitz. What's Blitz? Blitz, the video game, football game, Blitz. Oh, NFL Blitz. I heard of it. You never played NFL Blitz? No, I honestly don't even like. I didn't really start even fake caring about football. Cause I don't even care about football. I fake care about football. Um, till like dude this year. So who do you fake care about? It's gotta be the. Bills. I guess the Cardinals because oh. Kyler Murray. You know what I mean? He's in fades. The Kyler Murray's in fades. So oh no oh, shit. Okay, right. Yeah. So it's like you got the support. fastest man in the NFL. Okay. You that got motherfucker's that. so. Uh, Isn't Tyreek Hill the fastest? <laughs> no, I'm just saying he's oh, so the fucking uh, yeah. fast. Or I think he, Lamar's even. He's so running. He's running like. A bobblehead, like his head's first, and he is so fucking quick. Bro. <laughs> I, I was just talking about him the other day. I don't uh, even like the Cardinals, but damn, he's fast. Uh-huh. Yeah. But anyway, so you fake care about the Cardinals. I fuck with that. Yeah. NFL Blitz was the best football game ever as a child because you could do whatever. Body slam fools, power bombs. Oh, so it's like WWE meets NFL. Yeah, you. It stops you at the line, but until but you can full sprint, and it will stop you at the imaginary line. And once they hike you, you're in. But it's like street rules. It's, it's, it's like NFL street. street. Remember NFL oh. street? Mm. But pre-NFL street. Like, it was mm. badass. That's I'm cool. so happy. I, put, I made, I just told him <laughs> a video a game. game. <laughs> NFL Blitz, you should go watch, play that game. Try it someday. But is it even on like anything current? Or is it only no on like the oldest consoles cool. possible? I have no idea, dude. <laughs> I've been playing since I was pre-weed. Oh, wow. So I don't know. <laughs> like, How many years <laughs> you been smoking? 20. 20 flat? Flat this mm. year. Damn. Oh 13? my God, yeah. 20. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing okay. You're alive. Oh my God. Yeah. Started when I was 13. But just weed or like nicotine this whole time, too? No, I smoked cigarettes for seven years straight. Speaking of nicotine, would you have a bong out here? Or is that bong? I need, yeah, I got I you. I Hold on. you through the Eric. Beep. Mm-hmm. We actually just released our own bongs. Huh? Like last episode, we just put out our own bongs. Oh, uh, did he pause it? Was that beep like a fake beep? Or that, was, like, that was just a fake beep. Yeah, Damn, I thought he clicked something to like <laughs> no. simulate a beep sound. We bleep in the episode, it'll go bleep like oh. in between ad reads and shit. Oh, but he might. You'll see when you walk out. We have like the on the top of the bongs is just like this pattern on the walls here, but they're like modular, so you unscrew it, so you can like wash them super easy, yeah. portable, interchange the different colors and shit. So they're cool. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, I'm not sure because we just put those out, but he also has a company, Push Trees, which is a mm-hmm. big clothing line, and they have bongs, and that's in the warehouse. And he's got the six foot bongs. So I don't know what he's about to walk in here with. You challenge them <laughs> to bring in some glass and shit. No, he, you gotta hit this shit too. You smoke? Do you ever smoke nicotine or no? No, I've ever? never like I've never oh, had never any smoked stretch. Nic- no. Oh, then I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to, you know, take your nicotine genity. <laughs> <laughs> and plus, you'd probably puke. <laughs> You probably would. It's possible. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, I've said no to fucking nicotine. So you've never life. smoked a blunt? You oh, no, I guess I have. I started smoking weed with blunts. I, like oh, just so cigarettes. No. Blunt. Yeah, Jeez. no. When I first, oh. my whole buffalo stint was. You just meant like, you know, you've never added tobacco to things, you're saying? Never. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. You're smoking yeah. hookah? Kind of. So you smoked, I, I, you I mean, it's not like unknowingly. Smoked, like, I mean, I've taken like two puffs off a of hookah. Like, oh, okay, you okay, unknowingly. Okay, okay. Like, okay, okay. Barely knowing what I was doing. Gotcha. Okay. No, that's good, bro. If I could kick one thing, it'd be the nicotine, mm-hmm. yeah. which I can. I just, dude, I, I just want don't to want yet. to. Yeah, you don't want to. Yeah, that's it's the issue. Fine. I just don't want to. Yet. Dude, it's fine. Ooh, what do you have there? Of shit. What do you have there? Ooh. I like that Price is Right voice. <laughs> wow, what is that? This is our new bong. Oh, shit. It just came out. I'm fucking stoked. There you go. That's do you cool. need weed? Um, no, no, I got you. But this is for you. Oh, this is for okay. You. I got this uh, first time ever. Everybody knows I don't fuck with tobacco. I'm going to try it. I might not like it. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> you <laughs> won't like what it tastes like, probably, but there's no way you don't love how it feels. There's no way. <laughs> the way what you said that. I'm I am so juiced and sold. <laughs> so really won't love how there's it no feels. way. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it while like you're driving. giving me it. drugs and I'm 12. Damn, it's that serious? Yeah. Tobacco? Wait, you if said you, don't it, what? No, no. Dude, I couldn't even imagine, like if I, because I used to smoke this other thing called Doha. It's like this Middle Eastern, like straight pipe tobacco thing. Dude, that shit is wild. You said don't drive? Yeah, like I would just imagine, like, bro, if I did this, like in the middle of driving, holy <laughs> Oh, you get lightheaded and shit. So lightheaded. Mm. Like the most lightheaded you could be. I've never done it personally, but one time I did pass out slightly when I was driving, just hitting the weed too hard. Mm. So personally, yeah, it was me. Damn. Well, yeah, I didn't mean to laugh while you said you passed out while driving, <laughs> but like you caught yourself. That's why I just I get because I seem like you. Oh yeah, I, I, like, I came back. Yeah, yeah. But you know those times you're like, oh my god, fuck, I'm getting so lightheaded. 
Ma- just roll down the, the windows, windows and start playing Skrillex or something. Start to change it. <laughs> what oh, my Play Reptile, whatever that shit's called. Oh my god. Nah, dude, it was a... Uh, don't smoke a drive. Yeah, super bad. Yeah. So I heard you say in one of your videos you like to microdose to oh, open yeah. neural mm-hmm. pathways. I do. I, yeah, I did used to... On the, was that on... Did I talk about on the Ben Baller podcast? Where I talked nah, about No, this was I on your YouTube channel. Oh, oh yeah, I used to like love microdosing, but then I got really sick from it. And I haven't done it since. To be so, honest. so what do you what do you mean open neural path? What do you you saying you like microdosing because it expands your brain a little? Yeah, I mean neural pathways are essentially like the way that your mind does things in like a pattern. It's like the pattern of like the way your mind will do things. And apparently psilocybin, which is like the main uh, ingredient in shrooms, apparently it helps you move your neural pathways and like like you can change that. Not maybe immediately, but a lot quicker than it would like normally because normally you'd have to like manually adjust like whenever you feel a certain way whenever you naturally do what you do you'd have to like manually adjust that huh. like kicking a habit you know what i mean mm-hmm. like the way that your mind is wired to you know mm-hmm. repeat that habit it's just like that's what your neural pathway Damn, is. dude that's so it's awesome like, though that's like the benefit of psilocybin that's why they say like people have taken like acid and shrooms or other types of type of psychedelics and like kick shit immediately because like they played with their neural pathways huh. so that's like what i like about it. interesting so i was like you know that's why i never understood why people would like take psychedelics and party so I'm like, all sorts of bad shit could happen. I don't know. I just feel right? like that's like bad well, for not your mind. Party. Like, I just like getting fucking shit faced. And mushrooms are the ultimate. Hey, your body is not your body right now. Yeah. So that's how I feel about it. No, I but feel it. I go in the dark when I take mushrooms. I eat, oh, I eat a lot of them. I eat, a, I eat like six, seven grams usually. And then I go in the dark. You ever tripped in the dark? No, no lights, no music. Ooh, that, <laughs> that's therapy, bro. Really? Because imagine everything you want to start hallucinating, you can't see. So your brain starts like projecting it. And if it's pitch black, imagine just being in a pitch black room and using a projector. That's how I was looking at things. Like I'm seeing it on my wall. Oh, it's fucking awesome. Mm. It should be good. It's a lot of tobacco. It should be good. <laughs> oh shit, this is a... Uh, uh, oh, I can't reach it. I guess I can't hit it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'll hit it. Yeah. Okay, I mean, hey, this is, this is historic. You got this, champ. <laughs> You're the only person ever in life to get me to smoke backwood. I mean, to get me to smoke tobacco. There we go. Oh, you don't smoke tobacco normal? Like ever? Like no, blunts? ever. No blunts ever? Oh, I don't like tobacco. <laughs> I got oh, you. damn. Wait, are you better? That's interesting. I've never seen that done before. I've seen people smoke a joint out of it. That's, I'm assuming it's so he doesn't hit the <laughs> butane. Mmm. <laughs> I feel it's definitely not smooth. Damn. No, no, it's not. It smooth. tastes like furthest before. thing from smooth. <laughs> Whoa! What do you feel in your brain? What the fuck? It's in your brain, right? I just got so lightheaded. Right. <laughs> yes. When, oh, <laughs> what the fuck, fuck was that? Out. Damn. <laughs> you want one? Uh, Yo, I don't think I've ever experienced that. Marty, hit this. All right. I'm not gonna start smoking tobacco, but I don't think I've ever been lightheaded like that. It's a trip. Ah, oh, for a second, I had to remember we're fucking. <laughs> I'm already Sometimes hit this, but I hit feel a little bit like that if I like smoke like a you know a super spice blunt at like six in the morning. If I like wake up out of my sleep and I hit it, mm-hmm. are you I like the only time? Are you early like morning minute. with it on the regular? I try not to be. I, like, I try to at least give it a few hours because mm-hmm. I don't know. Just like what I don't know. That? Normally, I'm just used to smoking the second I wake up, but now it's like yeah. lately I've been giving it a few hours. Yeah, I like to get up at the ass crack of dawn and kick off early with some. Yeah. Well, he has three children because it has to be so up. different. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah, up. You got three children. Yeah, that's fine. So he's yeah. up and like, I'm gonna get high first. It's still <laughs> dark. Out. At, at, I gotta, I gotta get, be mentally at a certain place before anybody's awake. Yep, yeah. before everybody's up, you're like, all right, I'm high as shit. Get up for school. <laughs> that got me so lightheaded for a second. I went, I hope it. I wish it didn't hit that, and then it went away. All right. so yeah, I got it, too it, goes, with, it goes away ooh. so quick. That's what I'm saying. Like in the middle of driving, it might be intense for a never, second. Never, never. As long as you just, driving. yeah, no, no, no. It's too Are strong. Are you fucking serious? But it's technically legal to do it because, like, you there's no rule against smoking tobacco while driving. I'm just pretty took sure. A little puff. I don't want to cough my fucking lungs out. Oh, it wasn't a cougher mm. at all. What the fuck? I have never experienced that in my life. You never been lightheaded like that before? No, mm. not off smoking weed. Yeah. Cause it's not weed. That's a, all right. That's what <laughs> I can feel it a little bit. It's a little light. Damn, light, dude. Little so you got the baby Locked experience of what yeah, he got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He always told me it's like it's a different it. head feeling. My homie that smokes the back mm-hmm. with roaches, it's a different feeling. Not lying. Yeah, after the mushrooms, I decided I could never be fucked up on the show again. The issue is like sure you can get like tobacco sold. sickness and like Nick sick and shit like that. Which, uh, Nick sick. Oh, You don't no. want to be Nick sick, man. What does man. that mean? 
throw up. Sick off Sandlot. The you just feel oh, sick. Like it's just gross. Like, Sandlot throw up. <laughs> oh shit. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Do you want to hit it now? I'm cool. Are you good? I'm cool. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Can you put that down? Yeah, yeah, Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, the taste? Definitely not there. Yeah, no, no, no. It tastes like... Ooh. That's also why I've been like toning it down, because like, I actually want to like, you know... Taste, taste the like, weed. Yeah, like it's... Lately, it's been like... I taste some of them burn. Like sometimes it burns, dude. Yeah, I bet. I don't know why. It's like real spicy. I don't understand why that got me so fucking lightheaded, because I still feel... You it just took a big-ass right puff off it for the first time. Weird, no, man. I've never felt that in my life. That's all. That's what I'm chasing, man. Whoa. That's what I'm chasing. <laughs> He's <laughs> jealous right now. <laughs> that's how I feel. Like you never seen The Office? Let me yeah. show you some shit, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm like that with my kids. Pulp Fiction. Yep. Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. Like you better enjoy this shit. No way. Well, I'll never they gotta love again. Dumb and Dumber, though. Yeah, that was the first. All yeah. my kids. That's what made me love my kids more. When they were like seven. They had their own love for Dumb and Dumber. That was the oh. first one. Yeah, that candidate. Oh, so what's up? Jim Carrey is like the heart of Canada or what? I think it's like Drake now. Is it? I think he kind of kicked him out. But Justin Bieber kicked him out first, I think. Oh, he is Canadian, huh? Yeah. (laughs) We looked this up. There's There's hella fools. Famous people from Canada. A lot. Keanu Reeves. Mike Myers. The Weeknd. I knew Mike Myers. The Weeknd. Yeah, I knew that. Obviously, I didn't know. um, He's still Canadian. The Weeknd. Who was the first person you said? Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. I didn't know that. He's from Toronto. Makes sense. Yeah. John Wick could only come from Toronto. To be John right. Wick, the love for a dog could only oh, come from the love of a Canadian. Of a Canadian. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking true. Have, what, what does Tim Hortons so mean to you? <coughs> a coffee shop, dude. Like, okay. like, I try to explain to him. Though, but it's like, oh, your coffee, people. you always it's say. It's the in and out of coffee. And I don't it is, it is. But I'm just not a dick rider, I guess. But like, <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> Dick rider of coffee. Do you drink coffee? Espressos in the morning. Yeah, I'll, I'll fuck with it. Yeah. I, I, I need to find something that I can do that other humans it's green do tea. That I guarantee wakes them up. it's green tea. Yeah. It's got to be. I drug it. Nothing, <laughs> okay. dude. Nothing in the Never world mind. works on me to like wake you up except for drugs. But I'm not doing those. It's crazy because yeah, what about Adderall? But don't try. I I think Adderall's the devil. <laughs> I put Adderall and Xanax on like meth level because of like how mm. bad they are for you. They're I'll obviously not the same type of drug, but this no, equal. no pills for me. Do yeah. not. Not in my realm. Good. Yeah. No. Um. But yeah, that that mm. that tobacco thing. Oh yeah, no. It's tough. Oh no. I could feel it. Yeah. <laughs> I get what you're saying. That's not just weed. No. Hell no. Hell no. Sorry. I'm trying to like recover uh, from yeah, this yeah. shit. I fucking ripped it. And I feel like <laughs> get back on it. You used to smoke cigarettes and shit too. So yeah, like, but, but I smoke cigarettes so because it, I couldn't smoke weed right then and there. Gotcha. So I'd be like, oh fuck, I'll smoke cigarettes. I can smoke some fucking weed. You just deliver pizza and mm-hmm. sell weed out of my car, like a movie shit. Mm-hmm. Like, so we had my car. And I just put all my shit in my bag, you know, walk up, sell weed, and fucking leave. So I'd be smoking cigs. I was the nasty. It was nasty. God, cigarettes are gross. Yeah, that's yeah. like why I smoke, like, started smoking blunts like that, because I would never touch a cigarette. They're just, they're terrible. They're, they're really gross. They're disgusting. There's like no other way for me to smoke nicotine, too, without it being a blunt. You hey, know? man, you're mixing it with some weed. At least it's better. Yeah, no, way better. At Absolutely. L- it's yeah, 90% better than fools outside smoking on black and miles. But also, I feel like the worst part of cigarettes is like everything else than the tobacco, because there's like so yeah, much. Yeah, it's the whole shit. recipe. Oh, yeah, yeah it's, it's like everything. Tobacco is just like a part of it. One four thousandth of it. It's like that's so much more. Pretty sad. Yeah. It's basically all chemical, but it's like the base with tobacco, tobacco in it. Yeah, but it's tons <laughs> of shit. I was just explaining this to my kids. So, like, so <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Anyway, we got a quick new segment here. I want to test out real quick. What? It's we, it's nothing big. Oh, okay. If you had for the rest of your life, if you had to pick either one YouTube channel or one artist, music artist to subscribe oh, to, fuck. who would it be? Well, subscribe doesn't even matter no more. To be subscribed, like all you're getting is that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So there's only one person. A YouTube channel or a music person and or. Mm, you know, good question. Just to kind of get your, where you're at with music or YouTube. Shit, it had to be the Juice World channel because he, he's got music forever. Mm. Um, bro. Wow, that's an interesting answer. Mm-hmm. Wow, forever answer. music? Oh, yeah. He has thousands of songs. They're going to take forever. Thousands? Bro. Yeah, bro. He like When he died, he had like 3,000 still unreleased. So was he like, like 20 years old? He a freak though. Damn. Thousands of songs? He a freak. Fuck. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm not I'm not uh familiar enough. Me either. He's our fans like oh, number uh, fucking one yeah. person they always fight. Uh, they they always say 999s or X and then they always put like well, I mean, obviously they say his name, mm. but it's always like the same shit. Everyone's fucking YouTube yeah. name is that. Mm. Yeah, that's like a lot of people that seems to be our crowd yeah. of yeah. on the back end of Spotify they show like oh, your yeah. audience's favorite Who's they music. Use? Yeah, that's right. Oh, and most of them say yeah. uh, No, number one, one is number one. Oh. Who's number two? Drake. Drake? 
Yeah, I don't know about after that, but I remember seeing those two yeah. like, well, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Fucking popular. Yeah. So yeah, no, I, I get that. Mm-hmm. But damn, Marty, for the last out, like, who's your artist? It's tough to pick. You I got to go the Beatles. Damn. I got well, at least 12 albums I can fuck with, so. I don't think if there's anybody else I'm going to sit through that long, man. Mm-hmm. Do you watch, like we were talking about before we started filming, Do you, is there YouTubers that you, like, maybe have been subscribed to for a long time, or you are... Always I've always like videos. my favorite like YouTubers uh, overall. Just like everything he done is KSI. That's like fuck with KSI. Mm. That's a dude heavy. from England, right? Yeah, yeah. Dude, I'm not on it. I know he boxed the mm. shit out of somebody. That's all I really mm. know about. That. <laughs> I don't. I don't watch. I just barely started fucking with Twitch recently. Yeah. And uh, who do you know from Twitch? Do you even know who Ninja is? You gotta know Ninja. I know Come him because he's Tyler the, the dude Levins. with the fucking the the blue hair. Yeah, yeah, blue hair dude. That and I know there's another super big YouTuber, uh, PewDiePie. That guy. That's all I know about yeah. YouTube. Mr. Beast. I like that kid. <laughs> he seems nice. Uh-huh. Other yeah. than that, I don't know YouTube, bro. Like, and people always ask, well, you don't watch YouTube as a YouTube? Like, bro, I sold drugs my whole life. Happened to make videos. Yeah. That's, YouTube was just World Star Fight Comp. That's all I used to watch every Friday. World Star Fight Comp. I read that they're bringing Vine back. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Elon right apparently told him to start working on that shit. Really? I, th- I think TikTok kind of murdered that. Yeah, over? but also, yeah. TikTok did murder that, but then... All they got to do is just talk more about the fact that, like, they start broadcasting more on Twitter about that's what they're f- doing with TikTok and your security and everything. And, you know, this is them taking all your info and all that shit. And eventually people are like, I don't want fucking TikTok. And it's just, you know, people oh, start honestly, using Vine. I, yeah, feel honestly, I feel like a lot of Americans will start using Vine. Not the rest of the I world, loved but Vine. Americans will. For Vine sure. was the shit. I loved it. Mm-hmm. I remember the day they fucking took it down. I was, I, you could post weed shit on there. That's why I was on there. They didn't oh, really, you could? Yeah, they didn't But really it's because it's owned you. by Twitter. Right, so Vine was owned by Twitter. That's Is that why? why I never yeah, yeah. So they owned it. So, and Twitter just does not care. <laughs> like, oh no, I post all the leech shit there, bro. Even like today, when I was looking, because like takeoff passed today, right, oh, bro. That now, video, I watched that shit. This when morning. I searched up like his name, just to see like what people were saying, like the video of him dying, it pops up That's as horrible. me search just up bro, takeoff. So you know what I mean? Sad. Like, so I don't know. Like Twitter oh, shows whatever. Shit, yeah, mm-hmm. no, it's it's crazy that people are posting that shit on Twitter. It's like mm-hmm. Twitter's but, is unregulated. It's like fucking open waters. Yeah, everything is on a porn. Everything. It's crazy. Cr- Dude, I mean, when I open Twitter, is obviously worth some porn, but you know. Yes, what I mean? but it's everything. I'm just saying, it's like, yeah. before I used to just like certain accounts, like those meme pages, when I used to just like, I don't know, post hell like OnlyFans shit, like I'd just be scrolling this porn and pop up all the fucking time. Mm-hmm. Some of my, my horny fans I used to follow. <laughs> fucking this retweet porn all fucking Dude, day, like, me and my girl talk about, like, I'll be <laughs> on Twitter. Because like, we have ho- ho- uh, a couple friends that do porn and shit. Well, I can't get on Twitter in public. I have I do this. <laughs> Who's gonna post something that makes me look like a fucking creep? That's what I'm saying. It makes oh, you look weird. Shit. Oh, okay, makes we're good. Like we're good. We're good. Into it. I never thought about that. Oh man, I me and Rosie can't open our fucking Twitters in public. It's the worst, bro. It's the worst. I don't. I stop. I used to love that like meme where you click on a video, like where it'd be like kind of low, and then you turn it up, and the loud sex noises will start. Oh, I've it's seen so those. Man. That's <laughs> fucked up. Be somebody that talking, and then so out of nowhere, fun. boom, loud porn. So people on buses. Yeah. Just look. I could imagine <laughs> being in high school with a phone right now. Bro. I didn't have a phone in high school. I had that bitch at like it's seventeen. A demon. Whew, I would have made more money. I know that. Well, I had a phone, but you couldn't do anything but text a motherfucker mm. on it. So how'd you used to <laughs> get people back in the day? Only people I knew. I only sold people the weed to the people I knew. And if you didn't have a phone, they no. I'm saying I didn't have a phone that didn't do anything but text and shit. I'm saying I think it would have made oh. more money. Like, yo, check out this video, motherfucker. Oh, Look at this oh, weed. So still had a I phone. got this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had the uh, Nokia. Koi. I just want to know, like, how would they contact you? So would they show up at your door and they? No, I sold weed at school. Oh, got gotcha. you. I sold most of my weed at school, unless mm-hmm. it was the weekend. And then I just went to parties to sell weed to people. Yeah, because everybody's got ten dollars at a party. You going to parties, business man? I never went to chill. I was always like, yeah, I got weed. And I'm also drinking Mad Dogs, so if you need weed, let me know. I was like so disappointed in myself when he explained to me. I'm like, what the fuck was I doing? Just playing basketball? Yeah, you were a good I was, kid, man. I know, but what the, I was broke. Like, oh, yeah, I was fucking yeah, yeah, slipping. Yeah. I should. I was still something. broke too. I liked weed more than money, man. I would sell weed just to sm- fucking smoke more weed. Yeah, for so you free. could buy more weed to smoke. Hundred percent. The second I went, how much did I make? One fifty. I made it back. I got two Rams left. Boom, those are mine. Like, I, it didn't matter, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, hold on. Let me see the way you're rolling this. Yeah, it's weird, but I was like roll it like I people usually like roll in their roll hand. But I just like feel like I can like I don't know like yeah, tuck it smart. better and stuff. Yeah, that's definitely smart. But it's like problem is you always need to train and shit. You know that's the issue. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So you did like basically the dollar trick, except on a tray right now. Dollar trick. What's a dollar? Trick? When you do the dollar and you roll it over. You never seen the dollar? Mm-mm. How to roll it on dollar? I'll show you that after this. It's it's clutch. When we used to not be able to roll in high school, if you had a dollar, you you had a fucking blunt. You just you hold the dollar in half. Put the blunt in there, and you use the dollar like this, and it molds the blunt. 
just what you did oh, on the okay. table. Same shit. Oh, interesting. Yeah, because have you seen one of those school? like automatic like blunt rollers? It's like this yeah. big. They kind of work. No, they work, they, but it's also like, yo, I'm not gonna keep this in the car. I know. <laughs> I met my homies. Like, don't hold on. Can I plug my machine in so I don't have to roll my blood? <laughs> yeah, it's not. Uh, what but then you just pre-roll them before you like you I go know, somewhere, but I'm right? Always on the go, and I always run out of joints everywhere I'm at. I yeah. always end up having to roll more weed because I feel like I'm not saying where the car's moving, but I feel like the car is my my most favorite place in the world to smoke weed. Oh no, I, I do. I don't. That's why I don't take Ubers no more. It's it's the best. Man. Like anywhere, it's like we have to drive. I don't want to fucking ever yeah. Uber. No, unless I actually did the other day and it was tragic. But. They never let you smoke weed in the car because it's not your car. <laughs> we tried. We asked every Uber in fucking in not New York. Like, hey, you can man, get a guy. Can tip you like, oh, but I can't. I'm like, fuck. Now some of them do. Some of the Uber like, but you have to get a black though. If you don't get an Uber black, it was all Uber blacks. Oh, then, dude, some of them do. Some of them we can't asked be every one of them. Really? Yeah. That's why I get an Uber black and then message them. Can I pay a cleaning fee to smoke in your car? I asked them, like, can we pay your smoking fee? But or? usually it'll be no. like, you know, a couple hundred to do that. Yeah, it's 250. So it's like, yeah, yeah. But mm. no, never. I never, never, never. never. Found, like, I really, because it's really like. I hear I the know. stories and the myths of all my homies. My Uber let me like, Yeah, right. My Ubers don't like me or something. Uh, but then all the private drivers that like we've gotten before, they always like already know that people are probably going to be smoking. Like Dude, they I even got, have ashtrays in the car for a lot of them. I got like three fucking drivers have, like, in New York. None of them let us smoke. Damn. We even asked them, you know, if we pay you like the extra fucking two hours, can we? No, nothing. New York's yeah. not the same, I guess. I don't know. They were not down with us. Yeah, I guess it car. also is California. Yeah, so, out here is different, but yeah. I ne- I always have my car here, so I'm never getting a fucking Uber here. Unless I'm yeah. getting fucking drunk somewhere, but rare. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, sorry. Fan question real quick. Let's get into this real fast. Before we even do it, what is it? Mac Yao. Just mm-hmm. said, not even a question. Just thank a you for all. This. Yeah, this an overall. Thank you for the years of content. That's all they wanted to. Most of them wanted to say. Oh, I appreciate. it. Yeah, that. a lot of them was like, "I've been watching since I was a kid." Thank you for the content. Of course. Of all course. right. So that's the first thing I want to say okay. that most of the fans put in the fucking question. It wasn't even a question. Like, just say thank you. Thank so, y'all for watching it. For real. That's I wouldn't have like you know that shit if they weren't watch, if they weren't watching that shit. So when you meet a fan in the public, are you the people? Are you stopping and taking pictures? Always. Of people? Thank Always. you. It, I don't. I'm trying to remember a time where I have it. Mm. To be honest, I don't. Really, I can't. And then I'm you thought like, about it later. I'm like, God, I wish I would have stopped and taken that picture. No, I'm really trying to remember. Like there was. I've definitely put myself in situations like if I see like hell of motherfuckers like swarming someone like from face I'm like yeah I'm not going that way I've done that oh, <laughs> like you know what I mean sure, like sometimes like, I've done that but no, like I'm not ready for that right now but I've never like someone come up to me like nope nope like that's just oh, that's just mean like I don't Crazy feel, I feel shit, bad man. like I don't know that's just so mean to do that even if I'm in like a rush I'm like okay can we just do it really quick please like because I gotta go or if sometimes like we're trying to get somewhere in certain events like the security doesn't let you they, like, that's different for, yeah yeah that's but me different. personally I've never said no no yeah no I don't care how many times I got out from yeah. my fucking restaurant I'm from my table but sometimes so many times, bro there's like these weird because face has gotten so big now that there's these random weird like they know what phase is but i don't know anybody who's in phase and they just want to take a picture with you because like but they don't know anything about you or phase and they're saying it kind of like yeah i don't know i just yeah. some of those fa- like i don't even call them fans because they obviously don't know any any of us like that but it's just they just come across weird to me because like i yeah, don't know sometimes i'm I like get no. that there's there's always that i've had a couple later i don't know who you are but i see people taking pictures with you <laughs> <laughs> all right have a great have a great day like Get out of here! <laughs> What's wrong with you? I've had that before, and I've I've never felt more like you. Used. Used Space Jam. You watch Space Jam? Yeah, the new one. No, the first one. Of Michael course, yeah, yeah. Remember when he's like, and you're gonna play one on one all day and sign on forever, us, forever. That's how I feel when like you know, <laughs> you know what? I feel like a fucking sign boy. Like what the fuck's wrong with this? Just, like, yeah. I feel like a, a thing over here. They want some likes off you. Yeah, like, like, get likes. away from me. <laughs> no, but I, I just wanted to know because it's like the. You said you watched, you were watching Hex, and then now you're in it, and then now you started making some money. Then you, then you're taking pictures with people, and it's almost to the point where the first time you took a picture with somebody and that made their fucking day, and you can see it. Isn't it a? Di- it's a whole different thing in your life. Like you could be seventy mm-hmm. right now, and you're still gonna have a cult following. And people are like, yo, that's my motherfucking. Because to me, Adam Sandler, that's me. It's like I love that fool so much. So there's there's people out there that love you like they love. Dude, and I get that, and that's what a lot of people try to tell me. Even like when they're older, like I haven't watched it in a long time, but it's just different because like, and I get it because they're my Jeff Hardy. Oh, or so you're Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy. There it is. You know see? what I mean? It's like the way that like there's this someone that you know I don't give a fuck about what he does, but if Smart I was like. <laughs> Like I just, you know what I mean? Like that's probably the only, and Morgan Freeman because I want to hear him talk, but Jeff Hardy is the only person. (laughs) And that's like, even Eminem, I fuck with him. I just be like, oh cool, Eminem. But like, dude, Jeff, what? Swanton so bomb. that's your guy, Swanton yeah, Bomb? I almost paralyzed myself when I was 12. Dude, me too. I did a Swanton Bomb by myself, landed on my top of my head, couldn't move. <laughs> oh shit. I cried and then I moved my legs and I was like, oh, I'm okay. I was a little kid. What'd yeah. you do? 
I swan song bombed onto like you know those like CD holders oh, that like you they carry hella CDs, but it was like <laughs> without CD it. Shelves. I don't know in what world why I wanted to choose like a stuffed animal to swan song bomb. Why I said let me try to put myself through pain, but I did. And that shit, I just oh, remember you the purposely pain landed my, on it. Yeah, oh, I thought you that was you knocked my into it. No, Bro, I put it there. Till I don't like know the what the tall fuck was ones. Wrong. Like the ones that are like that big and they hold like 50 CDs? Yeah. It's like when you take off the CDs and it's just kind of like a bump Were you plug. watching ECW too or something? Of course, dude. Oh, so you were the, <laughs> I want a Dudley Boys my shit. Okay. And also I remember because like um, well, I went to a couple shows when I was a kid and I think at either SmackDown or Raw, they actually like filmed ECW at one of them. Oh, It, it wasn't its man. own live show. They do it as like a pre-show because it was still like small. I remember like, yeah. Yeah. ECW is great. I don't even remember because I was kind of far. All I ever really remember from that specific one was some kid screaming about Hornswoggle the whole time. He's like, Hornswoggle behind you, behind you. And we're so far away. Like, what are you screaming for, kid? He's not going to hear he you. He cannot fucking hear you. And he's screaming. <sighs> I'll never forget it. That squeaky. kid's out there right now. Like, he fuck. Bo- he bothered the shit out of me back then. I was like, bro. <laughs> that's I'll never remember it, it that <laughs> long ago. No, straight up. Yeah, it I'll never suck. forget him screaming about Hornswoggle. Dude, so Jeff Hardy's your end? Okay, I love that. Yeah, no. Dude, as a kid, all I cared about was wrestling. I met a, Chad, my friend Chad Holland. I walked into sixth grade. I go, it's a nice WrestleMania shirt you got on. We were best fucking friends, right? Didn't matter. Didn't matter what else we were like. I'm like, you like wrestling too? We're homies now. Dude, yeah. I got suspended from sixth grade for Stone Cold Stunnering a bunch of people with Chad. <laughs> One kid told, I told, I found out senior year who the fuck is snitched on, who snitched on us. Six years later. And then you still considered him too. No, it's this guy's sister. She saw it from the parking lot when she was picking him up. She thought we were picking on him. Did she get stone cold Sunner or no? No, I found out in 12th oh. grade. She, bitch was 10 <laughs> years older than her. She was already 30. But no, nah, dude. Um, wrestling was my shit. Jeff Hardy, Matt Hardy. It couldn't have been cooler. I never was going to wear fishnet shirts. But I thought they were the coolest for wearing the shit they wore. Like, I'm so happy that's who you love because I fucking yeah, no, love Jeff Hardy. Specific, like Jeff Hardy by far. Mm-hmm. John Cena was cool. It was past you know, my era. But, oh, yeah, really? Yeah. Wait, Jeff Hardy was still in John Cena, wasn't I stopped watching wrestling pre-weed. 12. I, I was around when I wait, stopped. Wait, Jeff Hardy was in the WWF when you were watching? Yeah. What? Jeff Hardy? I didn't know that. I didn't know he was like that from that long ago. Jeff Hardy probably started wrestling in 2000. So even like when like everyone was on The, the Rock. Rock so, everyone. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, Was yeah. he the same vibe, though? Exact same Same vibe? thing. Colored hair, doing everything. He was. They were the alternative new group back when... Uh, Edge, the wrestler was there. Yeah. Um, like uh, Batista and everything. But that was I never even that saw Batista age? wrestle. Really? Nah, mm. I just seen him from movies and knew he was a wrestler. Damn. I never saw John Cena. Like The Rock was the good guy when I left. Well, that's the thing. Yeah. I watched WWF as it transitioned in the E. So as I still as saw it, The Rock and yeah, Stone Cold. As soon as Cold, that happened, then, I was done. Yeah, because that's the year they I started selling yeah. weed. Oh, okay, that's it. But it didn't get as PG till after. Because they didn't switch the name to get PG. They switched the name because of like, I think the World Wildlife Foundation sued their ass. Oh, heard, so I'm, I'm like 90% w- sure. Oh, you can search up. I'm like 90% sure that's why w- they had to w- switch w- their name. So they had to become entertainment instead. But they weren't. They didn't go full PG yet. I remember when they went PG, I stopped watching too. But also because Jeff Hardy, like he had a thing with CM Punk and then like he like beat See, him I don't know who that was. He went to the UFC though and got his ass beat. You don't hear about that? CM, oh, that's the same person? Yeah, CM Punk. You're correct about the wildlife, sir. Yeah. You're correct. <laughs> oh, 2002. 2002. That's the year I started smoking weed. <laughs> 20 years, just like Damn. you said. Yeah, that's, 20 years. Yeah. It's your anniversary. Oh, that's shit. crazy. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, fucking Jeff Hardy. I missed that guy. Yeah, no, he was a legend. But that's what happened. He like had a thing with like CM Punk. It was like a hell in a cell. And then like loser, to, like the loser of that. Or actually, I think it was a cage match, I think. Whatever. But like loser had to like not be in WWE anymore. And then, like, he lost on some bullshit, dude. So you were done. Yeah. You're a diehard then. Damn. It wasn't like even you're... rigged when I used to watch it back then. It was real back then. No, it was fake as fuck. I remember I wanted to beat my sister's ass and told me it was fake. She's like, it's fake. I'm like, no, the fuck is not. My sister said oh, shit to me, too. I'm like, it's not fake. Look at him bleeding. <laughs> Thomas, those are packets. Like, those are not packets. You could see the cut. You can never see the cut. I would always convince myself that's the cut. I, he's bleeding. He's. I know he's bleeding. I don't know why I wanted to believe that lie so bad. Me too. But when The Rock fuck did the Santa, people's fuck elbow. everything WWE is real. It is. It was real. But the people's elbow came out. It wasn't real no more. He took 48 seconds of showboating and then elbow dropped you. That's when I knew. I was like, it's over. Wrestling's <laughs> not freaking real Damn. no more. Because <laughs> you know what I mean? Like as a kid, it's real. It's not. That's I saw. Uh, I was smoking a joint one time in Hollywood and X-Pac sat next to me at a table. Do you remember X-Pac and Triple no. H? I know Triple H. Oh, wait, you're not talking about like HBK, like Shawn Michaels, right? No, no, no. X, X, I mean, 
Heartbreak Kid and all those. Yeah, I know what you're you talking about. You know him. You know Shawn Michaels, right? Yeah, of I course. Him. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, damn, you don't remember X Pac? No. And China and all that? No, China, like the girl, right? Yeah, okay. Hey. X Pac was the little dude with the long black hair. Is oh. China dead or my trip? She, she, yeah, oh, she's man. gone, which is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, she's been dead for like 10 what years, happened? man. I don't time? know. I don't remember. I just remember she died. Yeah, sad. I don't, I don't. Damn, Marty. Well, with the power of the internet, I will find out. Um, all right, sorry. Off topic. Let's get it. Let's get into this question real quick because we never fucking did, Marty. Can we get into the fan question that we never got into? Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I said before we start. Let me ask you. Sign. You sign. You take picture with people. That then then it was. It's crazy. We get off topic with everything. That's we my talk life, about. bro. I that's, mean, we are smoking weed during a podcast. Yeah, uh, it'll 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 happen, man. So here we go. It's from Jay. I can't say your name. Who's a man? When you first started YouTube, what was the biggest lesson you learned? As a YouTuber, making content, getting paid, what would you do different if? You got to stay strong during the lows. September and January, they were the worst months. Like, even like CPM wise, and like, there's people who go back to school and shit. And like, I don't know, it's like post holiday, it would always be like the worst. And like, even as sometimes, you just got to get used to like bad months and not like let it get to your head. Cause like, I can see how people can let numbers get to their head crazy. Mm -hmm. It's like a weird other type of drug. Seriously, like, that was like before we, like, that was my drug, Social Blade, dude. That was my fucking drug. He showed me social blade recently. I'd live just on that shit stats. all day. I'd live on that shit. Mm -hmm. So like, it's just a different type of drug. You know what I mean? But it's like you got to learn to kind of just like, I don't know, disassociate a little bit with like, look at it. You know, keep track. Like this is like, but also it's like hard to say that because sometimes you really do excel the most when you're like a numbers freak, and you oh, do obsess over it. Sure. So it's like I don't know. But as long as it doesn't like tax you too much mentally, do handle whatever like your mind can handle. You know what I mean? Like if your mind, like if you really stress out about numbers, then maybe don't as much. But like. If you can handle it, then do it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I feel you, do because like I said, I was getting Shadow Man. I'm in Shadow Man since 2019. They kicked yeah. me off the program. So that whatever. must be getting annoying. Always like getting to this follower amount, then end dropping, then starting over, then getting like a tenth of the engagement or a hundredth of the engagement because you're on a new account. So it's like, he feels, yeah. it gets to your head. I get it. You like, get me. <laughs> and then I pay for everything out of pocket. Never got paid from YouTube. So it's even worse. I'm like, how much I spend? And it's Shadow Man. And it was all. And, and it's they're blocked. running ads on still. And they're still running ads on my shit. Never got paid. Like, I'm going to fucking kill someone. That's how yeah. I felt. But like you say, you have to stay strong during yeah. that. That's what I preach. Like there's years where I'm like, is this going to work? The cool and bad part about YouTube is like, you're never, you're only as big as your next video or your last video. Yeah. So That's it's like, it doesn't even go. matter. It's just like, mm -hmm. if it flops, who cares? Make the next one. That one could pop. And it's like, then it doesn't even matter that that last one flopped because the next mm. one popped. And then you play off the momentum with that one. So it's like, yep. I don't know. You just got to like, I think it's with everything in entertainment. It's only yeah. as good as what people can remember. Because you could be the biggest artist ever on earth. I'm like, dude, so we haven't seen an artist like this. So you get to drop a fucking banger that everyone starts listening to again and they get that, of it again. Yeah, or three years later you go, damn, what, where are they at, man? I haven't heard from them in a while. You, how many times you you hear a song go, I forgot about this fool, turn it up. Yeah, yeah, so It oh, kind of makes me like, sure. oh, that's fucked up, man. Or but you're only as good as your last shit. It's true. Yeah. It really it's is. a little bit different with like movies, I feel like, because like, I don't know. They're more like timeless in a way. Like good movies. Like good movies. Like a great actor in a good movie. Like it does. Like Jim Carrey don't even need to be doing shit. Yeah, no. of course. You know what I mean? His like, shit from the 90s. Right off in the sun. Close forever. Yeah. Yeah. Coast on yeah. forever. It's Dude. like with YouTube, you're not really watching videos like that old. You know what I mean? The bulk of people are watching the new content always. You're not watching the old shit. But with movies, you're always going back and watching the old shit. Mm -hmm. Half yeah. the movies I watch every night are older. They're not even like, not old, old, but like, you know, 2010 to 15 to 16. Like not always the newest, newest shit. Because I feel like new movies suck now. Yeah, fuck yeah! Unless it's like a Do you, Marvel are you, movie, are you Even a, half of them suck. Too. Are you a movie person? Are you into this, or is this something like, yeah, I'll watch a new one? Depends. Or, There's levels to that, right? Okay, so that's what you said. Then that means yes, mm -hmm. you like movies, and you're not going to sit and just watch the bullshit. There's just so many it's banger on. movies you're going to list, though. Like you said, Pulp Fiction earlier. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen it. Ooh. A lot of the that's three hours, right? Two and a half, so. two forty. It's pushing oh. three. Yeah, it's pushing I stay threes. away from the threes. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I always think of the longer ones as. This is someone's life work. I gotta see this shit. Mm -hmm. Like I just saw a headline recently that's gonna like it, that means I'm not watching Avatar two, three and a half hours. I'm pretty sure that's too much. No sir, yeah. not me. Fuck no. Nah, not Can't enough. smoke in a movie theater for three and a half hours. You got me fucked up. That's true. That's true. Bootleg. <laughs> you if you're you gotta wait a minute till it's bootleg. You gotta wait till it's on streaming services. And for Avatar two, it's gonna be at least three months before uh, it's on like iTunes and shit I don't like care that. Enough. And then it gets ripped off yeah. in HD because they keep that file on like. Yeah, I've been waiting so fuck like to me Avatar is damn near one of the best like last movies yeah. you know like but you know what's it was crazy cool. it like it had no like cultural impact really like I've never seen Avatar meme or a reference it's true or anything <laughs> well honestly and it's dude, like the it most cool. sold movie of all time is it yes it's a, yeah it's James it's Cameron 
broke I, his own record from Titanic. I, I gotta be honest, bro. Yeah. It's cool. It's you ever cool. seen Fern <laughs> Gully? Like, it's cool. It's Fern Gully live action without tractors. <laughs> I'm yeah, good. I mean, no, Fern Gully is an <laughs> old ass Disney movie oh, about yeah. that. But you know he has like five coming out, right? Five like what? two, three, four, and five. Of Avatar? Yeah. I'm fucking done after one. I'm pretty sure they're dropping every two years after this one. Done we after got him one, already Because we had like a stunt actor come in like 2020 to help with like some shoot we were doing. And he's like the stuntman for Avatars. And like he works with James Cameron and shit. And he was telling us that like four and five <coughs> were like the best written movies I've ever seen in his fucking life. But they're already filming four. So I think they've already filmed two and three or something. Like mm. I don't care enough. I don't think anybody gives a shit enough for Avatars. I think so. It's James Cameron, dude. I had no idea people that was the most selling movie ever. You ever heard of that movie that says like Damn. you're not going to see this movie and like the drop date is like <coughs> in, <coughs> Yeah, it's in a hundred years from I forget what John date. Malkovich. Yeah, I don't even know who that is, but it's the actor I like the concept. They filmed the whole blockbuster movie and it comes out in two thousand and twenty one. It comes out in like ninety four more years. So it's like in the beginning it's like every single person that's working on this film is now dead. Every single thing you're gonna see is something from the past. Every single thing you're gonna see is this, 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 and it doesn't come out for another like ninety years. Damn, fucking awesome! I That's think cool it's idea. such a cool concept, the best concept ever. It's a time capsule of what you think might be the exactly. shit. Exactly, it's a movie time capsule. <laughs> I love so that, cool. man. Fucking awesome. Favorite three movies ever? Go. Um, Law Abiding Citizen, Get Out. Oh, I've just had so, I've run that movie way too many times. And I'm on the fence between like Lion King and Shrek 2, but I'm going to have to what get... What the <laughs> fuck? I did not think that's right. <laughs> I know they all think it's such a random, but it's like for different moments in my life, dude. Yeah. <gasps> but Shrek 2 is like elite, dude. I love Shrek 2, but Shrek Lion King is great. so important, dude. You're talking about the original Lion King, I might right? have to kick Get Out, out honestly. Yeah. Lion King, the first one, though, right? That. Not the newish. Of course not. Okay. The, first, the new one's so cute, though. The new one's great. <laughs> I thought the new one was great. <laughs> Never going to beat the old one. Mm-hmm. The old ones is a master. You know what's annoying? So much You're about right. the new one, like they swapped out some words that they could have just kept normal. Yeah. Like, and even in the song, like when they're singing like the what it takes to be king or whatever, like they fucked that up too. Like, I don't know. It's like why? Aladdin, they did why the same thing. They changed exactly a little. The fucking a little bit. They changed up Aladdin slightly too. It bothered me. No, I, I, I get what you're saying. But, but I love I'm, that had Seth, Seth Rogen as Pumbaa. Matched amazing, matched oh, fuck amazing. Could have got a better person to play that <laughs> fucking <laughs> voice. Yeah, that was a good no, one, no, dude. There's no one better than him. No, nah, um, that was a very odd for uh, that was awesome. That was well thought out. He knew, he that. knew, he really knew. Yeah. Law abiding citizen, well, who's in that movie? Gerard Butler, Jamie Foxx. Never seen that incredible movie. Go watch Is it tonight. Really, just watch it tonight. I, I will, please. If it's that good, no, it's your that good. favorite movie. Yeah, I get excited every time I watch it. It's fucking sick. I want he just finesses I hope everyone. to God that I, that I haven't seen animal. it. Huh? I hope I haven't seen it because if I start watching, oh, I have seen this movie because I have a p- photographic memory. I remember so, almost everything. Jamie, do you know Jamie Foxx is like? Would you remember him by face if he was in a movie? Like, do you know? Yeah. Of okay, so he's in it. He's like the detective. Like, I think he's a Fed, like a FBI agent. Gerard Butler's just planting bombs. Is that this movie? A little bit. I feel like I watched what, part. He of goes it. to prison. Gerard Butler's in prison. Oh, yo, that shit's hard as fuck. Right. Where he puts the machine guns in the fucking control. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. movie's tight Where, as hell. I have seen yeah, that movie. Yeah, yeah. That's a good. I, fucking I was gonna movie. like spoil the whole thing, but it's I don't okay. If you haven't watched it, watch it you can watch it. Yeah. yeah, I have seen that. It's been a minute. Your memory is off the chain. I just remember of him in cuffs, and he's like. He killed fools without even being there. Exactly. Whew, that shit was that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That's like always been one of He's my He's like favorites. a Spartan now. He played the same gay character from 300, but like now as a mm. monster. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good movie. All right. That's a good fucking movie. Never mind. Yeah. No, I love good that Good All right. That's a good pick. I do remember that movie. Where do you stand on Forrest Gump? There you go. One of those I've never seen. So oh. I felt like it. I knew it. A lot of those movies like I just never seen. Like, you could probably name some bangers that I've just never yeah. seen. Yeah. That might, it when might it, be I, I feel like, in halves. Yeah, I feel like when it comes to movies and monumental points of human history yeah. and sc- and filming and dialogue, people doing Shakespeare for hundreds of years in theater, to get a movie that fucking good down and out, it's Forrest Gump. Really? Fucking amazing. But isn't it bro. just like him reflecting on himself when he's like, I guess I'll fuck, I don't know. Not even on. one bit. And then he starts running and shit. Nope. That's the pe- that's the pop culture shit they took from it, so they can do costumes about it. Oh, it's not even about the running, not even a little bit. That shit didn't come until like fucking seventy percent of the movie. Oh damn, he's a mentally about, handicapped about dude. That's basically they take him mentally. Through. You say mentally handicapped? Oh yeah, you need yeah. to watch it. He takes him through history. He's in every part of American history. I thought he was physically handicapped. No, he's fast as fuck. Oh, as a kid, yeah. You I'm gotta watch. Kidding. I don't want to fuck you up. You gotta yeah. watch it. 
it's one of those it's one of those movies that's like whoever put this shit together can go to their or grave like Castaway. No Isn't that the movie called Castaway? Is great, but you said like that. seventy fucking words. No, I've, never, I've never seen that. Either. It's a good movie just because it's like it's on an island with a volleyball or something, right? Yeah, but you got to think of the <laughs> yeah, thing of like, yo, you held and carried a movie with no words. You're a good fucking actor, bro. Mm-hmm. Oh, he did dog. He only said a few words the whole movie. So what the fuck's the movie about? About him stuck on an island. It's great. Really? Oh, it's good. Because if you, the way I look at it at movies, it's like, I'm a big movie person. It's like, yo, that actor, I forgot it was an actor. But are you sure it's actually a good movie? Because you know how your standards change as things come out, right? So it's like, yeah. what was good back then isn't good today. That's and sometimes that's true. you confuse nostalgia with actually good. Totally. That's true story. Like Craft Dinner. Is it actually good or it's is it just nostalgic? Was good. It was never We good. just love it because it's nostalgic. <laughs> no, because it had good? a commercial on it. Oh, and bro. we got hooked. Like, oh, Craft's macaroni and cheese. And that was it. Like, yo, mom, can I get some macaroni? You know what I mean? But it's, it's marketing like, as for kids. It's like someone trying it in their 30s who's never tried it before might not think it's good, but like someone who's eaten it their whole life loves it because of the nostalgia. For sure. You know what I mean? That's like, with everything, though. I there's think. a lot of like Lunchables, dude. Lunchables are garbage, but they were bomb when I was a kid. I'll they're still slimy. eat them today. I mean, yeah, they're slimy. They're so <laughs> slimy, though. Yeah, they're, they are. <laughs> it makes me feel like what pl- power plant made yeah. that shit. <laughs> they're actually weirdly slimy. No. You just have to ignore it with the cracker and yeah. Ignore like, it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a prison food and shit. Nah, dude, you got to watch it, man. If, you, if there's anything you take away, watch at least Forrest Gump. Good movie. Over Pulp Fiction? For me, always. But Pulp Fiction is that action I don't, I don't think I watched any of his movies. No. Pulp, and he got a foot fetish? Quentin Tarantino? Yeah. Oh, it's not that. in this one. It starts oh. in Kill Bill more. <laughs> oh, no, it is in Pulp either. Fiction. Damn. It's in Pulp Fiction. I don't think I've seen any of his movies. There's a lot of good movies, man. What movies he made? I just realized that. Pulp Fiction. He uh, wrote Reservoir Dogs. Kill True Bills. Romance he wrote. All the Kill Bills. Django. Uh, Django. I tried Crazy to watch Django, but I fell asleep like four times. Great like new movie, Batman. bro. Same shit. So hard to watch. New Batman was okay. It's like, make it a little bit brighter. You know? Thank you. He basically did this. I'm going to fucking save the fucking city. <laughs> it was emo Batman. And I'm, I'm trying to push it away so it doesn't happen. And it was okay. It was all right. Man, I know Eric's a fucking Batman fanatic. And I was talking to him about Batman. I'm like, that's your favorite movie. Batman, The Dark Knight. No, yeah, the, that trilogy is amazing. No, it's a great movie. I just don't think superhero movies, I can ever be like, it's my favorite. If you asked me top five, Dark Knight would have been in that. No, I, you know how many people agreed with yeah, Eric on that? Like, it's my favorite movie of all time. Holy and shit. Lion King and Get Out and, and Lion King and what's Lion it called? King, Shrek 2. Get Out and Shrek 2. <laughs> Shrek 2. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure those so aren't nostalgia? Shrek no, 2. No, it's not because I literally watched it like three days ago. Okay, <laughs> good. I just watched Forrest Gump the other day on the plane. I was like, such a good fucking <laughs> no, E.T. You ever seen E.T.? Yeah, once. Okay, I started I watching like, it on the plane. Oh, I forgot how yeah, good of a movie up. that shit is. E.T. Child actors crushing it. I don't know. That's how I think of everything. Like, yo, that's a child. Entertain the fuck out of me for two Have hours. you guys seen the new Halloween ends? I don't watch that shit. I don't really? watch scary movies. Uh, they're not scary, dude. It's I don't watch Michael horror Myers, movies, dude. bro. I hear you. I just don't like that. It's so sad. Uh, it's sad? No, it's disappointing. Oh, I thought you meant like, The sad. worst movie I've ever seen in my life. I could imagine. No, 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 probably, though. What's the worst movie you've ever seen in your life? Other than Halloween ends? Um, fuck, that's the thing. I just forget about it because yeah. it's so yeah. bad. I remember one because it was so bad. When I got to tell everybody. I saw it was 10. It's called Mexican Blow. It's in Spanish. It's so bad. It's about a Mexican Indian Aztec that discovers the city. It's, it's 10 feet from his village. He just discovered it, but he's got magic powers, and the cartel takes him over and he uses powers for drug dealing. Worst movie I ever watched in my life, bro. <laughs> well, I already made a mistake as a kid. I wanted. I thought, have you heard of the movie Devil Wears, Devil Wears Prada? I recently watched it for the first time. I thought it was a horror movie when I was a kid. No, no. <laughs> so I it's went to it. I'm sitting there for 30 minutes like, when's shit gonna get <laughs> real? Gonna get scary? <laughs> I'm like, this bitch is working out like Saint Laurent or the fuck's like, what the fuck is scary about this? Where is the devil? <laughs> like, dog. I'm sorry. That's so that's what me as a kid I was like, life. me and whoever I was with, we ended up just leaving. We went into some random, I forget what, some random like kids movie. I don't even know what Bro, the fuck it was. The devil was when's it gonna get scary? No, it's about designer and a girl <laughs> getting a job that's in a designer brand. Yeah. It's a Jake flick. <laughs> Yo, that's fucking funny. Uh-huh. Call I, it the, I hear them now. Like, I understand the point because like, oh. her boss, I guess, is a devil. And just, uh, no, I get devil, it. Like, dude, but the fact that that makes up fucking amazing though. <laughs>
<laughs> that's that's funny to me. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. Um, that's a Michael. You watch The Office? That's a Michael Scott. Nah, show. I missed out on The Office. Then when I tried to watch it, I'm like lame. Really? Yeah. Maybe that I just, sucks. Maybe that's not that good either. And y'all are confused. Oh no! I started watching it. I, I, I know. Probably, there's no way it's not a banger. It's just, for me. It's uh. It's just I just like film shit. So it's like oh, we're on season three. He really builds his own. That's I like that's not <laughs> film like a show though. I love it. It's like it super broke original. That, like it broke that. Yeah, it's like fourth wall. Yeah, looking cool. at the camera and shit. That's what's what. That's what people are. Anyone that's over fifteen and under fifty right now. That's the, the like the brain wave we're all on. Mm-hmm. I feel like our attention spans are a little less than everyone else's. Are you a Breaking Bad kind of guy? It was cool. For I liked it. Sure. Great movie. I mean, great it's show. Cool. It was a great show. It's cool. I know. I know. Yeah. That's his favorite shit. That's not an acceptable answer, I right? At least it, no, it was good. It's cool. Yeah, it was great. Good. All right. That's crazy, though. To me, it's like he was bald, number two dude. of all time. He was like, bald. If you want to talk about evolution of a character, you go for. You never I watched know. Malcolm in the Middle, but I'm, I understand. He's in that's Malcolm where in the Middle too. I know. I'm saying to see how go into that. I was yeah. juiced watching the show come out. Like I'm hyped. That's why I'm a star oh, for Brian like, Cranston. Like, comparing it to no, I'm saying like seeing like that's the funniest dad ever <laughs> on sitcoms uh-huh. to be in the scariest dad in any sitcom. I mean, for actors, for me and my shit, like. Uh-huh. Watching him play that character was fucking awesome. He was such a bad guy, but you Ooh. still were rooting for him. Of he course, was like of course. evil. But, it but was at the okay. end, you're like, it's okay, you died. You're a bad guy yeah. now. But I'm sad. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, it was a great show. I watched it yeah. as it was coming out. Even I, the movie they followed up with wasn't it was cool. Like, it was cool. And I didn't watch Better Call Saul, but everyone says it's I good never too. watched yeah. it. Like they haven't done anything to like fuck with it. You know, how like shows will fuck with their shit. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. they'll drop a season for no reason. Like Dexter. Yeah. Oh, I know. I don't watch that show. Like season that nine. I was already mad at the ending of season eight. And then I said, all right, let's drop season. I make even more mad. Like, fuck you. Yeah. It was a money grab to me. Like, how dare you come good. back for this one season with this half ass. He watched ending. that shit too. Yeah. I yeah. watched the intro and it grossed me out. So I never watched the show. What? The cutting and him eating up closer. I don't want to see that shit. He doesn't do it that often. <laughs> it was just the, I was only one. <laughs> they only like paint in the beginning just so you get the idea. Then they don't really like. Even the kills gave they. You, no, I only watched they one didn't episode. Like show it as much yeah, it anymore. They G, just like it was kind of watered down. I only watched bit, one yeah. episode, and that first was the only one I ever got. And he was, he stabbed the first a giant one? dude in the neck, uh-huh. and the guy started fighting him that he was supposed to kill. Uh-huh. And I'm like, you're murdering people. I don't want to oh, watch this nasty shit. Little Chino, <laughs> the big fucking dude. He stabbed yeah, his little ass. Chino. That's the only episode I ever yeah. watched. I don't know why they call him Little Chino. Uh-huh. Big as hell, but mm-hmm. it's the only one I've ever seen, dude. Yeah, and that made me go, I'm I'm good. I don't like seeing people get cut. It grosses me the fuck out. But it's fake blood. No bad. It's because they have the little squeezy thing on the other side of the blade. So that you watch like how they do it. Does it help me? But it's just a little squeeze. Catch up, dude. <laughs> no, I held up. I need like how movies like a, to movies pay can't like even try. Like I watched Terrifier too because everyone's like, "Oh, it's so gross, dude." It's a movie. Like it's not real. No, like, I know nothing's I, real. No, no, I don't know how to explain it, it but I always every time I watch a movie, I can just see it as fake. Cause like I know there's a cameraman. Can't yeah, not everything. See the so nothing. That's totally. Home. I don't know what it is. Like it's bad because I can't even enjoy movies the same way. It annoys whoever. Oh, that would work. suck. That's why Shrek yeah. Two is elite. That would suck because there's no cameraman. I would hate that. That's a great point about yeah. animated movies. No I've thought that before too. <laughs> I'm, I'm. I make videos and shit, so I'm always looking at how do you get that shot. This is a great movie. That's how I think. I think like building like building like that actor had to do that what was he thinking right before that scene because that motherfucker shit his pants in that scene like you're, you're like damn this fucking this movie's crazy but no i can't watch gore shit dude yeah i don't I know like why it's too, like so. a it's like a vibe that comes into my living room of like why do i want this evil shit around me like it gives me that feeling of like walking at night wearing blue in the wrong part of town like fuck fuck and i gotta run or something it's like dude it's the same fear of like nah it's that fight or flight feeling in my chest i start getting like they don't put on fucking Seinfeld. Fuck this. I've never seen that either. Oh shit! You should um, <laughs> you should watch it. I mean, I think I've seen a couple episodes. Yeah, it's it's always a lot of people like yo. I've seen this and this, but well, you didn't watch the base. Mm-hmm. You had to watch the. He base. did everything for that show too. Like he like made the bulk of the money off the show because he. No, Larry like, David and Jerry Seinfeld. You know, you ever seen Curb Your Enthusiasm? No, heard of it. But I thought Seinfeld did somewhere. He like owned the most because he like did everything. Kind of the way Seth MacFarlane does with Family Guy, where he does like all the voices. Larry like, David the voices. Yeah. is the writer with Jerry Seinfeld. They both co-write and co-own. Okay, it. yeah. But, oh, that's something they like write their own show. Do they like oh, yeah. direct and produce it too? Um, not direct and not, not direct. Oh, okay. I thought they did everything. I feel like when people start getting that. money, like season six, you'll start seeing produced by and the actor because they're like, yo, no, it's my show. <laughs> I'm producing. That. I'm making the money. But the yeah. first one's always like. NBC knew this, mm-hmm. but now Seinfeld was it was more of pre-internet, so it was like the water cooler talk. It was like the only f- big funny show for New Yorkers. I'm like, yo, you see Seinfeld, and it just got bigger than life. I think, yeah. yeah. You're but from was, New York? 
No, I'm from here. Oh. I, my, I, wa- I grew up watching everything with my grandma and grandpa. So I was watching that shit at like four, like dying laughing at these motherfuckers. So I've been watching it since I was a kid. Yeah. But I fucking Lion King too, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I watched all that shit. But I've been watching. My mom was a shitty mom when I was a kid, so she let me watch the real bad shit as a kid. So that's why I think my brain's different. So I've been watching all the Pulp Fictions when it came out. I shouldn't have been it's watching that shit. Be, it's not, not meant to be for six-year-olds. Are six you a Fresh Prince guy? Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm just not a Frasier guy. I fucking hate Frasier. I don't know anybody that's ever watched it. When I like it. He's the only one from the 90s that you really have like. Fucking yeah. hate <laughs> Kelsey Grammer and Frasier. I fucking hate it. I don't know. Real quick. Mm-hmm. You guys ready? Ready. Let's do one more fan question before we get out of here because we still haven't done that shit. <laughs> Yo, we've been talking and ranting again. <laughs> what happened? We started talking about one thing. Uh, and it takes like 40 minutes to answer a fan it, question. It does, dude. <laughs> I, I, it always happens with us, especially when we get lost in conversation like this. But it's not a big deal. I'm down with it. Um, all right, here we go. That means they're good questions. They are. They're good. <laughs> before, actually, this was a question I was going to ask, too. Mm-hmm. You say you only do microdosing on mushrooms. No, I don't really do it. That was like a while ago. Oh, okay. When you did do it, yeah, you yeah, said yeah. it made you feel different? Like you didn't like the microdosing? No, I love it. But then oh. I got sick from doing it too much because I was doing it every day. And my microdoses oh, are- hell no. They weren't microdoses, dude. They were taking shrooms. Two grams? Like, yeah, at least like an eighth. Too much. You know what I mean? So it's like- Oh, much. damn. Yeah. No, but like it didn't hit me like that. So it was mm-hmm. microdose, dude. Yeah, you met the tolerance. Kind of, you built it up. Yeah. And then you're eating all that fucking- Shit, because it it's growing as shit, dude. The mushrooms are going to shit. Oh, you're, you're poisoning yourself every day. Weirdest type of sick. I don't even know. It was like, I don't know. It was just, and it made me like all fucked up. I haven't done it since. Mm. I don't think I've done shrooms since, no. What was the biggest mu- dose you ever took on mushrooms? I don't know, probably like a half ounce. Oh, shit. But it like wasn't like that insane. I've only done eight grams. I don't know. It's all that penis uh, albino shit. Zip? Maybe I just haven't tried the right shroom. It's called penis albino, like white and blue things. I, that's what I took the other day. <laughs> I know, penis envies and albinos. Oh, yeah, it is called, actually, is it Penis Envy? It's the same one, right? Yeah. Penis Envy and Albano, same thing? Yeah. yeah. That was the question from that guy, P-Tart, again, once yeah. again. He's always getting good questions, and we already ask people. It's like the fifth question uh-huh. we got of him. Yeah. But he wanted to ask, what's the most you ever taken? A half ounce? Yeah. You're it's a so fucking much. monster. I could but never do that. that insane, I feel like. I remember <laughs> once, so I don't, also, it's always so different. I know. Sometimes you'll take, I remember eating these chocolate bars, and I ate, like, two of them, and I was cooling. And then I took a small piece from the third one, and then randomly, dog, like, I just destroyed me, dog. Like, I don't know. I just fucked me And you're not being able to walk? Like, on fucking mushrooms? Because I've done that before. Like, I've been so fucked up where I can't even move. Mm-hmm. You ever done that? I mean, just during Dude, the I just podcast. came out of a wheelchair, gang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he knew that. Hey, man. It was a good question, then. <laughs> on mushrooms. But not mushrooms. Maybe I shouldn't I have paused that. so much. No, but what happened? Absolutely. Jesus. I was like, what are you looking at? He's just... It's Fucking funny you say like, that oh though, my God. because but before that, that's also why like I had some, I have like some nerve Jesus damage shit, Christ. CRPS, it's all fucked up, so I'm like kind of tripping on microdose, while I'm doing like shrooms and shit. But after that sickness from shrooms, like back in the day, microdosing, I got something called like restless leg syndrome. I don't know if you know what that is, but like yeah, it, it was sucks. weird. It was Can't weird sleep. as fuck. One, I couldn't sit down. Like I had to walk to the hospital. That I couldn't, bad? I couldn't sit in an Uber for five minutes because it was like I had to just walk. I remember it was for forty eight hours straight. I could not sit down, dude. Like at all it would like as if i sat down and feel like electricity is building and it was like hurt crazy oh like the static feeling yeah like but an, an, an like when unbelievable your feet fall amount kind of thing but like an unbelievable amount like you cannot sit like it was crazy i've, I've never and i remember that. i got that after but it was weird because i got it from a cough like i got a cough from that sickness and i was coughing so hard that i felt something pull like down here and then i was weird oh no yeah it came from like a cough that's what it felt like at least because i started mm-hmm. coughing and then i and then I, <laughs> you know, I just couldn't. I've coughed so hard, I, I fucked my back. I hurt my back. Uh-huh. But off bong ribs, like, damn, I pulled a muscle in my back. <laughs> I'm coughing. Yeah. But damn, restless leg. No, I've, I've experienced it, but not nonstop. Yeah. No, never. Sounds horrible. Yeah, once again. That was pretty ass. Yeah, that was, that was a pretty <laughs> wild question. But what I meant was, have you ever been stuck so hard on mushrooms you can't fucking move or do anything? Uh-huh. I have. And it was right two weeks ago on the show oh, really? that's what i was gonna say like yeah, i have and it was over there because dude uh, if you're taking a half ounce i don't understand how you can function because i've done the eight i know because people told me you took eight grams of mushrooms are you fucking stupid I'm like i'm sorry but you took a half i can never even imagine. to like literally everything you've ever tried 
tolerance through the roof. The only thing that my tolerance will never go up on is edibles for some reason. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know what it is, but everything else, like, I'm fine. But edibles, man. Really? Like, if you give me, like, I remember, I don't think they exist anymore, but cushy punches, like, 100. Yeah, they're still, they're, 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 oh, shit's still, I don't think they do anymore. Them shit's still shit on me. Yeah. There's no way. Just those? Yeah. Oh, my God. And, like, you know who Ben Baller is? Like, the yeah. He used to have, like, this, like, THC lean. But he used to put like a thousand milligrams in that shit. That shit so actually. That's what's in there, me. in that box. I got oh some God. right there. Is it like OD though? Is it like I, I think he used to put in? I wouldn't like drink at all. Wait, because I think the max you can put is like three hundred. This is three. This is only two hundred milligrams. And yeah, he used to put in like over a thousand. And he's like, I'm just gonna do it till they stop me. Yeah, <laughs> fucking awesome. Yeah. So so wait, sorry, I'm, I keep trying to think back on like when you take a half ounce. Are you eating a half ounce of just straight mushrooms? Yeah. You're not mixing it with nothing? No, just like what I would drink at, at that time, even though I don't drink alcohol at all, but I would drink it with White Claws, dude. Or something really bitter. Because they taste gross. Like How the long whole... have you guys been hanging out for? You two. <laughs> oh, like you a there? No, no, he, he wasn't there for any of that. Oh, so you saw him. He came post wheelchair. Mushrooms? <laughs> yeah. I would be like, stop, please stop right now. <laughs> Holy shit, that sounds like a beach day. <laughs> but, what the fuck? Your this, tolerance is high, man. Yeah, no, they, high. they hit, but it wasn't like that crazy. Like, when I took like four tabs of acid, that was crazy. Oh, you like drugs? Yeah, that's tight. Uh -huh. That's tight. No, no psychedelics, man. No. You drugs are cool, but that's like, what I mean. But I also I don't feel like you should do them that often. I feel like you just I've never you know, been for people that like want to do them. Like I'm nervous, know, dude. Every now and then, I'm so nervous. Get a little reset every. Yeah, like, neither of us have done acid, and we're so scared of shrooms after the last episode. <laughs> I'm not scared. I just can't do them and function on the yeah, show. I can't yeah. do it no more. It was too. It's too intense, huh? Because you know I'm having yeah, a conversation with myself here while trying to have a conversation with the guest. And then remember, hey man, you're on camera. Be like that's why it's called yourself. tripping because you're like to anybody who's watching, like what the fuck's going on with that guy? Yep, like you're really tripping. It was like, and then it's crazy because when you first take, you're like, oh, that's why they call it tripping. It was terrible. I'm tripping. Yeah, it was like you're having like ten different conversations with yourself <laughs> and like then acid's crazy because you feel like you move to wherever that thought is. Like imagine like your entire brain, like your thoughts are all scattered across, but like. When you move, it's like you fucking get like sucked back and you're seeing pulled to that thought in a way. Like, I don't know. Mm. It's trippy as fuck. Acid's more mental. Shrooms more emotional. Huh. Like shrooms play off your emotions more and it brings those kind of to life. And then like acid's like straight mental. Like you're in your brain digging through shit. Really? Accessing your files and shit. Well, like that. Uh -huh. It's like it takes over your emotions in a sense that like it's just that's the main thing that you notice as the differentiator. Like you get more emotional on shrooms, but when you're on acid, it's more just like, more like, I don't know, like technical, more like in your thought, like, I don't know, like it's mm -hmm. less emotional. Like I was never crying off fucking acid, but some shrooms, a lot of shrooms can make you like cry and shit. Yeah. And emotional and shit. What mm -hmm. the fuck? I've never, I'm just nervous for acid, but that sounds fucking like a good way to say it. Like this is accessing files. Yeah. This is just <laughs> clearing out your emotions. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good way. Kind of like seeing yeah. what your brain can do. Like yeah. let's soup this up a little bit and see what it can do. Cause yeah. you're talking about um, neurological, what do you say for pathways? For pathways? pathways yeah. I never thought about it like that, but yeah. there's been times where I come off my, my trip and I go, did something change? Is my brain clearer? I felt like that, yeah. but it goes away three days later. Like the world comes back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you're tripping so hard. Like my name, you say your name 30 times. Go, why is that my name? I've done that so many That's times. That's like anything. You say a word 30 times. Like, why is it that word? But on sound mushrooms, like that? it's like it's so much more intense. I'm like, my yeah. face? That's what people see? Oh, that's my face. All right. Ooh, all right, cool. That's how it's It's weird. It's like you start seeing like. You see know, everything so different. Everything is so yeah. different. Like I can just. Like you said, the the movement to but the But it's thoughts. cool because some people are very like narrow-minded. So they don't gain much perspective. So for them, it can help them like open up a little bit. You know, yeah, dude. My mom's been taking mushrooms for like a year straight yeah. now. She's on it dude because yeah. she's tried it and was like oh i can think a little better or oh this helps me for the anxiety of this and that it's it's just something that's going to be used i think like weed soon yeah i think that like, a lot of people end up taking it and they like i feel like become a lot more understanding after because they gain more perspective to a lot more things and it just generally makes them a more understanding person that sounds weird but it's i feel true, like, even, like mike tyson's came out and said that shit but i personally feel the same way mm -hmm. it just makes me understand more than you become more understanding and then Everything everyone does makes sense, so you're more understanding towards them and like empathetic because you understand like whatever they did, they did it for some reason. Yeah, you know what I mean. No, it, even if it only makes exactly. sense in their head, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, I don't know. The more understanding you become, the more you can understand. And not take it personally it. as yeah. to like they're not doing that to me. That's just kind of how they are. Yeah, it's like it's totally. Unknown. Yeah, I, I feel like it's like a, every six months someone should just take some mushrooms and clear out their head. It's like a little. Yeah. It's like a taking the. It's a cleaning day, spring cleaning. Mm. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. So for the last time, I just I didn't use it the right way. I usually get fucked up. And that's the, the thing. That's why also I feel like 
like those type of drugs are like they're not like legal and accessible like that is because people can easily misuse them and there's no like guide to that for the most part right there's no like instructions yeah yeah that's true that's so. true because i know i know people right now I'm like don't eat mushrooms you never should right there's like some people you. that you know that shouldn't no, you're too high strung like and you're gonna fucking jump off a building just stay here like i feel like, like there's people sister, that would go crazy I would never in my life tell her to fucking try any of that shit what does she do what do you mean what she do? For life. What does she do for like her living? What does she do? Well, she'd be chilling, dude. <laughs> <laughs> she's be chilling. But I always ask the guests. No, like, but oh. she, she like, um, like she's been like a waitress before and stuff, but she like works at like immigration, like to help like refugees and shit in the Canada. Oh, nice. Yeah. So it's like a government job. It's a government phone. Cool. Stay away from me with that government shit. Government phone. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be near that thing. But yeah. Fuck that. I always ask, well, like, what was it, Chevy Woods? What's your brother do? Mm. I actually, he fucking makes videos. Or what does he do? I make music. I always ask because it's always funny. Like, people always ask me, what does <laughs> what does your family do? My, my sister, oh, she fucking makes fucking smells and perfumes. She works at this place, so it's always I want to ask, like, what does mm. your sibling do? Yeah, it's always it's always weird to me because you were you were sixteen, just making video making video game clips. Ten years later, you're like, there's fans outside. Like, I'm gonna go sign some shit. It's a, it's different. So it's like, how does your sister like? take that was she the super good in school and you were the one fucking up yeah she was yeah she was definitely doing better in school and i was one fucking up for sure yeah. it's always that way man yeah. i've never met a guest that says no no we all did good or we were all fucking suck and it's never i been just that didn't way. care about most of like what they were teaching me i only like math i know it sounds like whatever but i only like math that was it everything makes else. sense yeah it makes sense <laughs> like everything else does every time it makes sense like this and history that's what i'm saying exactly geography like I'm like an L for not caring as much about that because like geography is also consistent. Actually, it's not that consistent because it's changed over time. Changed like, still, all the time. Like, like, Landmass is smaller on this map. Yeah, yeah but still, yeah. for our lifetime, it's going to be the same for the most part. So still, I'm not the best geographically. But history, it's all cap. What the fuck am I going to learn about their fucking story? Bro, I know people today, they can't tell a story straight. When they try to tell a story from like two weeks ago, what's wrong? You don't tell me. <laughs> them like The Civil War, yeah. exactly Super how it happened. Super duper boomers back then knew what the fuck they were talking about. Stop. And they didn't even bro. like my all skin cap. color. You shouldn't say that they didn't lose once. No, it's all cap. So <laughs> you know like, I don't, like, nah. like some of it is true, but it's like the way that it's told, cap. <laughs> like I don't. Yeah, no. Like so you're I saying like two weeks ago. History. This fool didn't even get a story right. You know how many times that's happened? Where I hear, like, he told me something different. Like, bro, I was there. Or just how much people will tell a story differently that you know 100% true and they'll lie, but to make themselves seem more just like whatever, whatever, insecurity, whatever the fuck it may be. Give them For access sure, to country. books. <laughs> to write yeah. books. That's when the world's That's different. what I'm saying. Yeah, so. no, I get it. So history, like, I, it was and never something. you can't challenge them because they're all dead and, like, no one knows. And it's just like, oh, my gosh, like, what the fuck are we going to say? That's not She's just like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you just, really you just broke, broke down, down the fucking education <laughs> system right now. They're all dead. Was it a lie? Let's fucking do math. <laughs> exactly, though. I like it. I like. It. All right, before we get out of here, can I actually do one actual fan question yeah, yeah, and yeah. fully through it? Because uh, I know it hasn't got there yet. All right. Oh, also one thing. This is thirty million dollar face house. What the fuck? I mean, we like rented it, dude. We didn't buy it, but it was also just like it's over. You know, no one lives there anymore. For, like from phase. So you guys all live together and just. Did content yeah remember I, I was while you guys are having doing this like <laughs> i always think like the, people are the biggest in their whole genre this is crazy and you go ask a 60 year old man go what you, what what's call of duty like it's crazy that people can walk down the street and have no fucking idea. a lot of them know now because they have like kids and shit you know? yeah and but it's like parents a lot of them will know because of their kids and stuff like that for sure but you, you know like that there's a part of the world that has no idea what this game is. Mm -hmm. But yeah. then you go and like, no, no, we have a $30 sure. million dollar fucking house to make content for our fans. Yeah. So when you guys did that, was it, let's go over the top just to go over the top? Yeah. Even though I don't, I didn't like it as much. Like our best shit came out of a $3,000 a month rented house in Long Island. Like that was like the peak of phase, best part of phase. It's like, I don't know me personally, like where I'm in life, like living through in all those houses, like, I don't know. It's like even harder to connect with the people you're with when you are that spaced out than everyone starts living their own life, when, especially in like places like L.A. Like in New York, it was cool because like the house was small. So like we'd always see each other and always mm -hmm. do shit together. And that's where more content happened because we were each around each other and shit was happening. But then when everyone gets like kind of split up in those big ass houses and then their own rooms and shit like that, you kind of lose that connection with each other a little bit. I get it. It's like the band yeah, I mean, when they're starting out on the bus, on the on the van, yeah, it hits and then they got their own sprinters. They all have their own fucking tour exactly. buses. Exactly. It's like, I get it. You, you know, lose the like Jackass One versus Jackass Three, and it's different with us because it's like at least with music they can come together and make music. They don't even have to be that close like that. You know what I mean? They can just keep doing what the fuck they're doing. But like with us, like 
it matters that like chemistry that connection so it's like if you're losing in a fucking massive ass mansion it's like i don't know and you said people are here for you not really for the games as much anymore so what happens when you kind of take out you the camaraderie again yeah i get it i get it i just haven't liked them to be honest it just hasn't hit the same but i get it like we're all in this different places in life that's why I don't know. I don't know if a house with the same people will ever happen again like that because it's like we're also just too grown now, dude. We're yeah. like pushing 30. Like it was cool when we were like younger and it felt like college for us and it's whatever. It's a camp getaway. But then also it's like, dude, I don't like living with dudes. They no. don't clean up after themselves. No. So I had a roommate once and I was, sure. it's just yeah. not the same when you're like, yo, I cleaned it. Why is it dirty? That's not me. <laughs> <laughs> and then you start feeling like I am not a maid and I'm not also going to live in filth. So I guess I'm a maid. Like that Fuck. $30 million house you're talking about, I couldn't go down to the kitchen without shoes on because the floor was always fucking dirty and sticky dude yeah gross you guys are gonna clean services kitchens were <laughs> yeah bro they're coming four times a week it doesn't matter oh it's, fuck. it's dirty as they're cleaning like it's bad oh they must have hated you guys like fuck we're going back no, to they, got, they, they actually like it was like elizabeth and they like loved us they were especially like banks and all of them because they've been like their clean ladies forever for like five years and like they love them Oh, they then it's a good. whole different fucking yeah, story. Yeah. They must love you guys. They're like, oh, four yeah. times a week? They give us the most fucking business yeah. of no, anyone? for real, though. They've gotten, like, amazing business. Like, they yeah, definitely have. Like, Sick. from, like, FaZe and especially Banks and them. So I had to ask that because, like I said, once again, in not being in the video game world or knowing or being on YouTube, I'm 30, I was like, what do you mean? Because he brought it up. Going, what, how? And then you guys are, what does that mean that you guys are open on an open market? What does that mean? Oh, it's like public. It's like when something's a publicly traded company. So your team. Right. Like it's like an NFL team at that point. Yeah, you could call it like that. Okay, so you guys went public and basically let people come in and take shit. Yeah, they can I, like buy shares and whatnot. Yeah. Oh, okay, so you guys are still the owners. That. I'm like tripping on it because I know there's so much that I'm not allowed to say. Like when you especially even say now like when people can do that. Like I don't know, like SEC dude. I'm oh fine. yeah, I, I just <laughs> I'm so <laughs> there's so much things that I just wanted to ask. Yeah, I just have to be vague on everything I say. That's fine. That's yeah, fine. So basically, because I don't fucking know what I'm saying is like now you guys can cash out on making video or playing video games. Basically, sure. Yeah, I think it's great because mm-hmm. Eric told me a little bit ago, stop what the fuck are you saying to me? Because he told me like a year ago, I was like, FaZe, I'm like, I know exactly who that is. I know that they're a video game. And then I met Hex a little later and he explained yeah. like, no, this is teams. Motherfuckers got jerseys. And then I went to the thing and now I realized <laughs> like, got jerseys and no, shit. once I saw that somebody's repping your jersey, you are a fucking athlete at that point. I don't care if it's your athlete with your hands then. Mm-hmm. I mean, I want to trust me on for this team, but I want to go call him an athlete. Dude. I'm going like, to say, but it, I hear you, but like even uh, fools that do pro tech decking. Hey, that can you do it? Then fuck off. Are they getting it's paid? A, you're a yeah, you getting paid? Pro you're a pro. digital athlete. If somebody told me that you were pro smoke a weed, the day I got paid to do a weed video, and I was, all, I'm like, what do you want me to do? Just smoke this. Tell me how you like it. Like my heart just got. Remember in the Grinch when he turns good? That's how I felt. Like, <laughs> fucking got paid to smoke weed today. Like the, my life's different. I like, remember the day it happened. Definitely professional competitors, but it's just like I don't know about the word athlete because I've been esports. I don't know, I'm just trying to yeah, hype it up and shit. Yeah, that's what it's called. As soon as I saw jerseys and fools like yeah. this, thanks. They're competing. Dude, they put so much shit. time into that. Like, a, like it's like any other sport, or anything you'd have to. They put in that Maybe much more. time. No, no, no. Mm. Honestly, more because Maybe like more. their bodies can handle. You can't like. Pl- I, don't, I just feel like you can't play basketball or football for sixteen hours a day. No, but you can, but you can play COD for sixteen hours a day. So in terms of time, obviously it like taxes your body more. But you're also getting in better shape than your body can handle more with like sports and shit. But like. I don't know, but it is a lot of time. Yeah, so we're, we're at a time where so my, they're obviously real competitors. Yeah, know? they're real. Like my my cousin, what do you want to do? Uh, I want to play professional uh, esports. I'm like, well, this is like a real thing. Do that this now. is real. You can make yeah. fucking money. I hope you do it. Yeah, you don't even need to be like. You don't even need to have like a following. It doesn't even matter. Like, it's like you know what I mean. You don't even need to go that route if you don't want to be a country. You can become a pro, but it's just a lot of fucking time, dude. But what a, a time! Lot. But if you already love it and that's what you want to do, it's like it exists. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I love it, dude. Well, you're paving the way, man. And now you're 10 years deep. Yeah, it's been All a, right. so a decade deep. Me talking to my eight-year-old like, son, we're going to get you playing video games. <laughs> get your shit and you start editing. All right? Yeah. Start, start freestyling or something. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, you can no, make it. You make it it's make it. funny how parents like want their kids to play games now. It's yeah. weird, it's, huh? It's wild. It's fucking, especially when your kid's good. It's like, yo, he's got an arm on him, huh? Now it's like, do you know what he, how many kills he gets in a fucking lobby? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a whole different world, man. I love it. Um, so, all right. So from starting off, I never, ever, ever would I, I have I smoked tobacco and got lightheaded in my podcast life. first. So podcast my life first. There it is. Thank you for that. Thank you for coming on the show, man. Oh, I know thank you. Uh, it's been a minute. How long have we been? About two. 
Oh damn. Yeah, I like that. That was quick fast. Too. All right, that was quick. Thank you so much for being here, man. Um, Thank you. Everybody can get your weed here in LA. I know that. Yes, sir. Right? And Absolutely. And delivery services, too. They don't got to go to the store. You can still get it online, too. Is there, I mean, they're not going to search every store and go, do you have Facebook? No, no. Rides? I'm pretty How sure on our it? website, on recovery.io, so that's rcvry.io, you can go like- Okay, rcvry.com? Yeah. yeah. No, it's just dot, uh, dot .io. Dot .io? What's .io mean? What the fuck? I'm pretty sure it's like, wait, hold I on. I never heard of that shit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's input output. Pretty sure that's uh, cool. I don't even know. Can you fact check me on that too? Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't even know that. what that is. I'm pretty sure it's input output. Bro, I learned emails about seven. Better not years be fucking ago. interface. <laughs> so but I'm pretty sure it's input output. All right. Correct. You're right. All right, there you go. So everyone go there and they can see where you actually have yeah. your locations. Okay. And then for everyone else, where can they find you at? Where you are you streaming doing your thing? I'll be there. Be there. No, I'm saying I'll be there. Just phase rain. Yeah, just not. I just like on my YouTube and shit. But like, I just have. I'm still like getting back into being active and shit. So I'm saying like on YouTube and shit mostly though. Okay, yeah, just show. so because everybody's always gonna ask like, where can I find it? Where can because you know right now. Wait, 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 sorry, what was the question? Where am I gonna be? No, like where can people find you? Like where if they can come support you, be in the oh, stream, oh, yeah, yeah, hop yeah. in. Like, nah, yeah, I don't stream that much. I only stream for a little bit, like when I was like super wheelchairy because like I just needed, you know. So, I, yeah, I got you. So where but, can um, you put out videos? Yeah, You're still on doing YouTube. your thing. Yeah, YouTube, yeah, yeah, yeah Facebook, right, man. YouTube shit, and I've mostly been on Instagram. If anything, but yeah, same thing. You have one post, man. Yeah, <laughs> you got one it's a sick post. ass photo. Sick photo. <laughs> no, it is a sick ass picture. <laughs> <laughs> you got one, yeah, post. one more post. <laughs> yeah, you going hard on the stories? I'm a ho- <laughs> nah. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram. Just cherish the shit out of that post, man. Like it's sick. No, no it's yeah, like, keep running that one back. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Also, real quick, what car is that? Is it McLaren? Yeah. All right, I thought that so. for like five years though. So that story time orange. That's my shit. Yeah. So I saw that orange. Like, oof. I'm hard. so against like buying cars like that now. No, they're awesome, but it's like just an OD amount. Just yeah, the McLaren's so. There's so many things you got to get first before like a fucking sick ass car. Like, I don't know. Yeah, that's true. A lot of true. things should take priority. Wait, did you just buy it outright? Yes, I didn't have credit back then, uh, so I just kept buying cars cash. That's why you're like, I don't know if I should do that. You paid in cash. <laughs> yeah. we, we make payments over here, right, guys? <laughs> yeah, no, Normal I guys. If I, I didn't have credit, though. I was a kid. I just like, I don't Wanted know. it. Yeah. Fuck it, dude. Who else can as a kid go? I'm gonna buy that watch. Oh, Look at a video. Mom, game, you're retired. Man. We're getting a McLaren. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> hey, man. If anyone can take anything away from that, it's that. It's now a real thing. And if you're out there, there's a lot of people out there doing it. Hopefully, you come back, see this video, and go. It's fucking possible. That's what it's all. And about. Shout out to your principal. Yeah, and shout oh, out to your shout principal. Out to Have you seen him since? No, and I don't know if he's alive, which is so oh. sad. Both times I was back in Canada, I tried to like call the school that he worked at because he left my school, went to a different school. First time I called, they said he wasn't there. And then when I called again the next time I went back in Canada, because I kept trying to like reach him, they said like, yeah, he hasn't been back because like he's like in the hospital for like something oh. with his heart. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't that's know what's yeah, Well, no. if you're still I never around, got to hopefully, talk to him, man. That's, that's what I'm saying. That'd be so yeah. cool. Like, thank you for all like, this I shit. know. I know. It's always nice, man. But thank you for being here. I appreciate it. I can't I believe you've been here for two hours. So thank you for sitting, here, oh, sitting through. Thank appreciate it. Me, Guys, it's been the Dope's Usual Podcast. Thank you so much for watching. For Marty, for Faze, Rain, and I, have a dope ass day. Yes, sir. Hey. Boom. Hey.